Hey guys, welcome back to some Frostpunk. So we're on the last autumn now, which is, in my opinion, actually, you know what? Now that I've played it, I really think it is the best scenario. Uh, screw the arcs, no. Arcs is still cool, but they're they're all really cool. This is where we're prequel, uh, and I've actually already finished this like I don't know, like <laughs> two or three times. It was one I haven't played a like uh, I played it a whole. I but I did play it a bunch, but it's probably the one I played the least out of all of them. Mostly because it was the expansion. It came out a little bit a little bit later. However, I will say. Uh, it's either really easy or really hard, depending upon how much you know of what you're doing. The first time you do it, might be really hard, might be really tough, because it's got a whole bunch of new mechanics and new laws and everything. It's actually really great. It's the closest thing to an actual real expansion that they actually ever did for this game. It's a real shame it's just limited to this one scenario. I kind of wish they kind of did a little bit more with that, like maybe some derivatives again, like some more generator sites or whatever, but uh, I don't know, I digress. So if you really like, I guess industrial revolution vibes, you know, like the guys at the top of uh, Empire State Building building it, you know, on the girders, absolutely no safety whatsoever. <laughs> this is this is the vibes you kind of get from this one. This is a uh, actually really cool one. I, I really like it. So if, in case you thought like maybe it was a one hit wonder with their uh, their Frostpunk world and you're like, oh, they would never do this again. Like they couldn't they couldn't possibly uh, exceed that while well, they did. You got new music, uh, new laws, everything to go with it. It's it's really great. So the reason this one took so long to get out was first I wanted to play it a bunch to make sure I really knew what I was doing. And then when I kind of did my initial recording, which I did do, <laughs> this is the second time of going through it, um, I won it a little bit too hard to the point where <laughs> I missed a bunch of content. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is a let's play. This is not just me just um, going through things and just going as fast as possible. Honestly, it was like it was almost like a speed run. Honestly, at that point, which people do speed run this one, and they're really good at it too. So, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a change here, which I, I didn't think I would do, but now normally I say, oh, let's have everyone make it out of here alive. Uh, I'm not gonna say that for this one, not because it's hard, but uh, I'm going to survive more. <laughs> so. Uh, well, just to tell you what this is, I haven't done one of these yet for this series so far, but I feel this is actually the best one to do it with because, you know, it is it is what it is. I've actually I've actually beaten Survivor before. I should be able to still be able to chat and and say things as long as I keep it on a slow speed at certain points of the game and things like that. And it also does pause when you go into laws and stuff. It doesn't continue without you. Uh, but I'll, I'll do my best to, to, to kind of move on with this. So. But uh, all this does is, for survival mode, all it does is if I were to do the sliders, it would put it all the way to extreme, so all the sliders would be here. So extremely challenging, people will get well, are very likely to get sick and become hungry quickly. Uh, resources will be gathered slowly, take uh, longer to research the technologies, resources and frost sign will be me meager, and the logistical limit will rise slowly. So that would be for... Uh, well, whatever the, uh, oh, you'll, you'll see that mechanic, sorry. I forgot you haven't actually seen that mechanic yet, so logistical limit is an important thing. Uh, weather, temperature will drop, uh, quickly, and cold spells will last even longer. That's not as much of a problem in this, uh, scenario, so this will not happen that badly. Society's attitude, people will be very sensitive to bad events, so discontent will go higher, essentially, is what that kind of does here, and generator. Uh, generator structures will be slowly be built slowly, and the work safety will be even lower. So work safety is an important part of this, but they do have the sliders for all the stuff. So I, I did it on hard <laughs> fairly easily. So, but all we're doing is that puts it up to high, and then this also means that there's no active pause. The game will be very difficult, and your progress will be saved on exit only. So it's just turning up to maximum, and you don't you don't get to you don't get to save scum or anything. So no more save scumming. So might as well. Uh, survivor exists for the scenario. Yeah, sure, let's go. Personal Journal of Euphemia McLaughlin, Assistant Engineer at Imperial Exploration Company. It's been five weeks since we have left the familiar walls of Birmingham behind. Weeks of uncertainty, of struggle, of hope. And finally, We have reached the shores. We had three deaths so far. Or, small price for progress, as IEC called it. 
I can only hope I am going to avoid their fate. They've claimed there was nothing to fear. That this whole journey of ours was just a precaution. But now, it feels like the weather is changing. And the winter, the winter seems inevitable. The last autumn, we crossed a rough northern seas to reach Site 113. We are, we are to build the greatest marvel of technology, a generator. Your crew, lured by a promise of a steady job and eager to leave the work riots and bread queues behind, are somewhat taken aback at the sight of the desolate landscape surrounding the site. They were told not to ask for details, and there's no turning back now. There's no consensus on why this, con uh, this contract had such a high priority, considering the deteriorating state situation in the Empire, but your superiors are clear. This is the most important job of your life, for a queen and country. So whenever they are referring to uh, <laughs> the, the, the Empire or for queen and country, this is the British Empire, the colonial empire. Uh, 1800s, uh, well, in late 1800s, that is. I guess it was uh, th throughout most of it, so. Uh, basic facilities. Before you start uh, building the generator, you must uh, you have to set up basic supply infrastructure. This means building docks, gathering resources, uh, and uh, gathering the resources by, uh, by them. You need to also have a rough uh, food resource, a fishing harbor, a forages camp, set up by a food source somewhere in the plains. So I can go immediately and actually just pause it by <laughs> selecting building streets. Uh, there is no pause button anymore because I'm playing in survivor mode, so that's uh, a good indicator. I don't know why is it blinking. I think some, uh, my, my graphics card is melting or something. Okay, I think I resolved it. it. The thing is, I'm running this under, like, emulation, and I think also I have some heating problems in my, <laughs> in my, in my CPU or something, so. Uh, I, I think I did something to it, I don't know. I have to, I have to fix it. I don't think that's what's causing it. I think it's, I think it's just emulation issues or something. And, and I think it's only when I was in the, the road view. I think it would not persist if I allowed the game to run, so. Uh. The first thing I should mention, actually, that character you saw in the, the trailer, um, if, what was it, like Effie Mc, Mc, McLaughlin or something? I don't know. Uh, not a real character. A uh, fictional character made up for the scenario. Uh, that's just how... <laughs> that, 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 so I, I said at the beginning of, like, the when I did part one, I said, most people are real, that person is not. I mean, maybe, maybe she existed at some point, um, couldn't find anything on Google or anything about her, so uh, not a real person, as far as I could tell. Uh, so for this uh, scenario, there's a couple of things around. I'll show you a little bit as after we get started about what's what's on the map, what, what you get. Uh, the first key thing is, you know, so there's no steel, no coal mines. There's a bit of coal down here, uh, but uh, no wall drills. You don't wall drill this because there's no because wall drills are more about like drilling into the glacier to get wood out of it, that, which is what they're doing. Uh, there's not there's nothing like that here. So we don't have to ever we don't have to worry about anything like that. Uh, and we have a very minim minimal amount of wood and steel, pr primarily because we're on survivor difficulty. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to just remove some of this, and I'll show you. Off, I'll show off some of the laws as well. Just going to remove some of this right here. Hopefully that will work out. Um, all right, and so we'll. Uh, I'll I'll do the laws first, might as well. So we have administration. So the laws are completely different than last autumn. Uh, some of them are returning. Some of them are some of them you'll recognize, but they all have like different graphics for it and, and, and everything. So they did a lot of effort into this expansion. It's, that's why it's really worth it. Uh, but we have a couple of new mechanics and things to go with it. Um, so anything that you see that is raising motivation, instead of hope, you have motivation. So discontent makes its, makes its return functions the same way. Uh, motivation is a bit different. Motivation if you get if you get it high. Uh, so it's like a it's a it's like a bar that goes up and down. Um, if you get a high, what will happen with the the motivation then is um, they'll work thirty percent better. It's effect, it's effectively like thirty percent efficiency on it. If it's low, then it's minus thirty. If it's in the middle, it's just zero. So right now it's about zero, uh, and you can see the bar actually when I get out of this menu. But I'm just telling you what motivation means. Uh, it's sort of important to get it high at least early on, but you'll find that as the scenario progresses, it will be hard to keep it up unless you do some <laughs> really sketchy laws later on, as, as you might imagine. Uh, so you get uh, a couple things around here, so I'll, I'll kind of just go through them all. Um, so public house you're well familiar with. And the funny thing you're going to find is that people are going to be, like, these characters are going to be kind of recur recurring. You're going to see, like, I think, like, the same 
four or five. <laughs> there's like a an engineer, and then there's like a couple workers that you see that that constantly make reappearances in these images, which is really fun. So uh, public house works exactly pretty much the same as it does in uh, regular Frostbunk, uh, but it does raise motivation instead of uh, anything else. They're less discontented. Blah blah blah. Chapel. So instead of overtime and extended shifts, which if you remember were really overpowered <laughs> in uh, all the other scenarios, they've changed it up a little bit. So there is no overtime or extended shifts for now. Uh, we will we will see what they replace it with later, and it's even more broken in this one than it is in uh, anything else. But it's actually quite funny. Uh, you'll get to see it. So uh, they do kind of hint at the faith uh, thing because you know there is the faith and authoritarianism past in uh, you know regular Frostpunk. Uh, one of the things you can get right off the bat, as you can see, is a chapel. So you can get a chapel immediately. They pray, blah blah blah. They they raise motivation, and that's it. Um, you get either on-site burials or reparation of bodies. Uh, so this is your way of uh, disposing bodies. Reparation of bodies sends it back to England, and on-site burials they will be here, and they will be ra rather upset if you sign that. <laughs> so they're not they're not too happy about that. But I'm trying to not get people killed. I may not succeed at that. We'll see what happens. Uh, so that, but that's the general idea of what we're trying to do. Which one is better? I, 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 I'm probably going to do reparation of bodies for that one now that I think about it. Because each burial will decrease mo motivation. But the thing is, when you, when, you send, when you send the bodies back, you have to make it out of wood or something to basically make the, the coffins for them. So hopefully you won't have a lot of deaths. Uh, this one, it would be radical treatment and sustained life. These are ones, they're almost exactly the same as they were before. I don't know. I'm probably going to do radical treatment just because that is... Probably the better one to do. I'm just trying to think here. No, no, you, you know, we could do we could do sustain life, even though because I, I I'm I'm on the fence about it. <laughs> I'm on the fence about it, but I think I'll do sustain life because there's the, I'm planning on going for the uh, infirmaries uh, later. There's no houses of healing or any options like that, so you could either do one or the other, radical treatment or or sustain life for this one. But they're uh, uh, once again pretty much functionally the same. You get a new thing called a bathhouse, which is people live, living near a bathhouse are less likely to fall ill, uh, so you'll you'll enjoy that one, because that's going to be really funny when I get to that one, uh, and you'll see why. Um, you either, and then you have, uh, they actually change the food options a little bit. They have hearty meals and they have gruel. So gruel is, I believe, uh, I think it's four raw f so normally it's four raw food for f uh, four uh, regular food. Gruel, I believe, uh, goes four to five. I don't really know, because I, I don't ever pick this one, because I always pick hearty meals. So for a change, they actually flipped it. So instead of you having an option where you make more food out of your existing raw food, this would be making less food out of your raw food. Uh, so this goes for every four raw food, it's three meals. Uh, but eating eating hearty meals will increase uh, motivation every day, is what we're going to do. So we want to sign something, just get the laws on cool down. We're actually going to sign this one first, despite the fact we're not going to use it first. And that's what we're going to do to start off. So I'm going to get everybody onto these buildings and that's it. So we're, I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of gathering posts in Last Dawn, but we will make some gathering posts for some of these buildings as uh, probably what we're going to do. Uh, just just to get some of these a little bit faster, because we do need to collect this uh, stuff pretty fast and get the ball rolling. This is a very, uh, how do I say, uh, momentum-based scenario. <laughs> Let's go with that. Uh, so, how, and it's it's like mo most scenarios where it's like you snowball, you, you get really good, and that's it. Uh, so we do have, uh, like I said, the two coal patches here. Uh, we probably will not be tapping too much in that early on, because uh, it's it is what it is. I don't I don't really need that too early on. And then back here we have the steel ship that we can't really get. Uh, so this will play in a little bit later. <laughs> so I'll show you what that's all about, much much later. But you'll see what this is about. I'm just pointing out that it's here. You know, that's just, you know, it's a, I don't, like, how do you get that? Well, you'll see, you'll see later. You take your guesses and that's it. You get four places for docks, so you get to have docks, and they don't have to be connected by a road or anything, so there's no infrastructure around that. But typically what I do, especially the way I kind of work, is I like to plan it out so that, uh, I, I, like to, I like to have all my work buildings at the top and all my living buildings at the bottom is typically what I do. I'm just waiting for my steel to come in to, one second, I can do this too. I'm just waiting for my steel to come in. So, yeah, there it is. Because I would like to get my first workshop, because I can't build that right under, right away. So, that's what we're going to do for that. 
let's see. What there's one other thing I think I wanted to address. Oh yes, yes, it's something very important. Um, our engineers are snobs. Uh, if you've noticed, I can't actually put engineers to work on anything. They're just like unemployed. They have to. Engineers will only work in engineer buildings in Last Autumn, uh, with one with an exception that comes into a, a very particular tech tree. <laughs> so that's kind of uh, an interesting thing, and and it plays into kind of like the themes of class warfare in this uh, uh, in this scenario kind of thing. They do actually a really good job at it, and there's actually like like the the, the two paths that you go. You'll see, but engineers do will not work at uh, most places that workers will not. There's a couple exceptions like cookhouse and stuff, but that's more for logistical reasons. Uh, and you'll you'll see, you'll get the point. So, it's what they're working about. Um, so, word of advice, first steps, sir. Our employer, the the Imperial Exploration Company, has prepared a site for us. Besides digging the enormous shaft for the underground part of the generator, they left us some construction materials behind to get us started. We should go set up camp and clear the construction area around the shaft to make space for construction facilities. I see. So that's all, it's just telling me about the yeah. There's there's this giant shaft here that obviously uh, was dug down, and that's that's all that we have now. Uh, so we're here to build a said generator. So the trees and stuff, there's a, there's just a ton of them, but it, it might be good to just save them and use them for later. It depends. So I'm gonna build this one first completely. Get that going, and also now we can have a look at the tech tree to see how that's different. So we now have a generator construction area. So there's no more heating. Technologies at least right now <laughs> Keyword is right now We have profiles manufacturer and that's pretty much it So it, these are just buildings that we need to make the the generator with and you got to research them uh, We're not gonna bother with them right now because we need to do more infrastructure related stuff first uh, We have four joist quarters. So the outpost teams and uh, Scouts are essentially merged into one in this scenario but you can't really do any outpost teams except for food. That's it. That's all you can get out of your outpost teams in this scenario. And then for resources, you have faster gathering, sawmill, and docks. Those are your three options. So what I'll probably do is I'll start with docks. So I need to get that out as soon as possible. And yeah, that's all going. And we'll do the next workshop right there. All right, sorry for loading on you, but I'm doing the exact same thing. I just kind of forgot about a particular thing at the night before. So because the builds on survivor can get pretty tight let me be honest you know just something important to note i didn't realize i made a mistake until i had made the said mistake all right there we go so we got it going the way before so i was doing sawmills and and yeah there we go so i'm gonna just wait for the day to end so we're gonna let it go all the way to end all right important thing i do want to make a gathering post so we just want to get these three resources right here. That's all we want to do. That's all we really can do. We can't get another one over here, no matter where you move it around. The central part is actually kind of interesting because there's certain things you can't make there. I can't make tents there, for example, but you can make a gathering post. That is allowed to make a gathering post, not a resource depot, gathering post. So normally I don't make uh, these kinds of buildings for the scenario, but I will do it in this particular case. I'm also going to get one more wood because what I can do with that wood is I can just pull out a, a cookhouse. Just to get that being built. The roads don't really matter. Um, what I'll do is I'll just wait until the next day. And that is actually one that you can have engineers man as well, which is kind of neat. So, uh, Idle hands. As the workday ends, people start gathering in small groups to chat or play cards. A couple of the workers start throwing down rocks down the huge central shaft. Deep, isn't it? And to think we have to work down there. Out of boredom, or maybe to ex exercise their fears, more workers join in. Soon, rocks start raining down the hole. This might be dangerous, but the camp offers very little, very little other entertainment. So you either let them be or can stop them, which would raise discontent. Uh, for those ones, just let them be. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> so it does not matter. All right, for this building, what we're going to do is we're going to take them off of steam cores, because steam cores is going to be a thing we finish really fast. And we're going to put them onto this gathering post, which will help to get rid of some of these resources. So... So at the end of the day, we just have no wood, no steel, uh, still some food, but we're gonna get we're gonna convert the food into whatever we need to at that point. For the next law, I'm going to do sustain life because that raises motivation, and also um, I like I really don't want to get rid of people, and I'm planning on going for like really good medical facilities, so I'll deal with it as it comes in. All the problems, so we'll see. So. I think for this one, we will wait on that one actually. So don't click this one because it'll give you an extra three, day, three days. That's <laughs> yeah, right, three, uh, two or three hours to work on this. 
because it uh, we have to let this go and we'll uh, eventually force you to look at this he goes sir a few of our people got cold from sleeping on the ground and we should provide them with some sort of accommodations if only this might impact efficiency in the long run we want to address this which is discontent uh you have two days to provide shelter for people for some people and then there's uh shelter for everyone which is two days for everybody again uh this is actually a good way of raising motivation early on so you just say i will do, provide some this is a f like basically five housing that we need to make and that's it that's all we're going to be doing so there's three sick people but we can just leave them be and what I'll do is I'll put them in here. So, an important thing, don't go to hearty meals yet. <laughs> Stay on standard meals. Because for the first little bit of them, we want to just, uh, we want to get, we want to convert all the food over and that's it. Do the most efficient one. And we're going to wait for that to finish up there. That's it. So, yeah, and they're all done. And we can go get them to make a medical post now. On top of that. So, and that one's also not that important either. But that's, uh, I'm just debating where to make that. I'm like, there's a lot of places you can put this, so I, I kind of I kinda of feel like it yeah, we could just put it right here. That's fine. So they'll go they'll go make that. So they convert all the food over. That's one of the few things that the engineers will do is they will work on food apparently, so. Alright, so I'm all finished, and then what we're gonna do after that is forge quarters immediately. So this is to try to fix up some of the wood. I will not be able to finish it tonight, so. We'll just keep, we'll just keep it going, because the the housing we have a lot, actually a lot of time to deal with, so and then we can do that. Apparently they're gonna go eat. Workers are absent, so as long as long as you have a bit of time to get to get them into the the, the essentially the medical facilities, and we're gonna be we're gonna be doubling it like right away, which is gonna be fantastic. So all we need right now is we just need one place for. Just debating where to make this thing. Do I make it here or the other place? I don't know. Th this one requires a little bit less in terms of uh, radius. Yeah, I'll put it over here. Yeah, so we can kind of go like here. There we go. We're going to need a very long road for that, but that's fine. So that's a... Wood is the, I think, the fundamentally most important resource early on here, so that's what we're going to be kind of going for at the moment. So here's our uh, overcrowding. We're functionally the same as in the base game, which is just super very strong. Regulations change. And so they're going to go basically get all the food they want to, and uh, that's it. So is there anything else we want to build right now? I could get another sawmill if I wanted to. Also wondering if I should reallocate people. We could get we could get one more. I'm just debating where where I'd move people from if I did that. It's not it's not a bad idea cuz it's 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 a lot of wood and wood is really important early on. I'm I'm very I'm very conflicted on that. It might be a total bi totally big mistake if I do that. Let's do it. But I might be regretting it. <laughs> Because we quite honestly don't need that much steel early on. There we go. Alright, so we home with all. They went into the, the care as well. They're all good. Reality check. As a camp wakes up under dark rain clouds, the mood amongst our people turns gloomy. Nobody told us we'd be sent to the end of nowhere, they grumble. There's nothing else to do here but work. And they're going and they're going to stay in this uh, in, uh, for a while in this remote, cold, miserable place. If you don't keep their motivation up, the efficiency will suffer. You can say, I'll see what I can do, which is raise a law. Of, you have to sign something up. That basically does a law for motivation, is what they want. Alright, so. We need this forger has to be finished. And the thing is, I'm just not sure if I can get that done in time. So we'll see we'll see what happens for it, but yeah. Alright, new law. So for this one, what I'll do now is I will actually do public house now. Uh, so that's also motivation. Uh, excellent one to do, actually, on that. And so we can make that. That's like 10 steel, but I, I probably will in a, in a moment. I'm going to do forger's uh, quarters first. But that can, that can wait until like, the, the day is done, effectively. So. Uh, so we get docks, faster gathering, and yeah. So we want to do docks now. And I guess I might as well start getting all the houses out of the way. So, one, two, three, four, five. 
So, I'm gonna build out towards the top, that's it. So let them finish up. Hoping they're building that, yes they are. And then we can do the public house right after. Fortunately, it for some reason thinks that this is a much larger slot than it actually is. There you go. See, look, look how much space we had left over. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna free up 15 people and we're gonna send them out to become lovely foragers to the reindeer, reindeer, trucks down, reindeer trucks down here. So we're in like Greenland or something, so that's where we are at the moment and it's eh, pretty straightforward. It's just like, uh, yeah. And then th these guys, like I said, can do both outposting and kind of like uh, scouting. So, but we want to use them for food first. And that's, that's where that time came in. So motivation rises because everyone needed a roof. Uh, even a flopping one. So they'll be doing tents for most of the uh, <laughs> most of the scenario, let me tell you that. So motivation rises because they got their, their lovely tents. We can just wait on that one. Uh, let's see. Can I get a couple more people into this? I can. So there you go. Public house has been established. Motivation rises. So it's going up a little bit, but we still have a little ways to go before that becomes... Uh, well, as good as we want it to be, so... Mostly, most of these little guys are done, though, which is nice. Uh, what I'm gonna do, though, I'm gonna start moving workers into the steel. It's just generally a good place for them to go. So motivation is falling every day, but we're keeping it about the same, which is good. So on that, we can actually do House of Pleasure. Processes can be employed in the public house to increase motivation. Sure, why not? Let's go do that. Uh, I could do it later on. Alright, so he's moved here. So partially eaten, eaten reindeer carcass lies in a circle of trampled bloodstained earth. The tracks lead further. Um, so you can either go to hunting grounds or nesting place. Uh, both of them also give you... There's like there's food down, up down here and food also up here. It's an, I'm just going to go the up, up, up path. I don't think it makes a substantial difference. Um, there's a, uh, a septic. Is that septic? I, I thought it would be skeptic, but <laughs> I don't even know. You overhear two workers arguing over the reality of global cooling. They really believe this is uh, this. Is the, do you really believe the end of this uh, this end of the world rubbish? Me, I'm just here for the money. When, I, when we're done with this mad scheme, I can move my family out of St. Gills. And the other man says, "Well, you're a fool, aren't you? We'll all die when the frost comes." He turns to you. Ain't that the truth, sir? So you got three options here: mind your work, lads, which is discontent will fall. So the science says. Motivation will rise slightly, or only fools doubt it, which is just going to rise and motivation will rise. Uh, so you want to do the one, remember we're trying to min-max our motivation, so we're going to do the one that raises both up uh, pretty substantially. Remember, discontent's pretty easy to deal with. Looks like these guys are about done here. Alright, we can shuffle some people around. And the hope is that docks finish. I wonder why it's like 60% on that one, but we'll see. So there's nothing else in the in the first tier to do, so I just go straight for drawing boards at this point. And you can also now just start doing docks as well. Alright, so this guy is completely done too. The next day they will be effectively working at these basic docks now. No roof overheads. Per so the people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in the cold. You better do something about it. And you could say I will provide it for some people as well. I probably should have just said everybody because honestly, it's not that much. It's only 40 left. I actually probably should have done that. I, I only thought of that after I, I selected the wrong option, but you know. Because <laughs> it's actually fairly easy to get this all the way. Because it's like just four of them. Would have greatly risen, but it, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. So we'll put workers on here. This last one is going to just finish up as well. Oh, let's get this guy nesting place. Move on. So it was birds nesting in a, a inaccessible rock near a fish in a nearby lake. So there's a lake full of fish or a bald hill. We want to go to the fish lake. It's about the same. Shelter promise filled. Everyone needs a roof. If only a flopping one over their head, you, people look forward to a well-deserved rest. So now everybody should have a roof now over their heads and that's it. This one will be wood. So I did wood and I did steel, is what I did. I actually don't think I need so much of the wood at the moment. Actually, I, I kind of do. So I'll keep it the way it is. So people are starting to get hungry now, and th this person's kind of uh, a little bit on the important side to get it all out of the way. 
We don't quite have that food just yet. But they're starting to get hungry, and definitely the next day they will be very, very hungry, so. That will be their priority, but he's about to make it there, so. Alright, so Telegraph Station, now we've built the, the basic resource infrastructure, we can go about setting up, uh, bring more people and steam cores to, from England. To, for this, we have to build the Telegraph Station. So, Telegraph Station is a pretty neat mechanic, actually. They did actually a really solid job with some of this. I don't want to destroy resources, though. Uh, I could probably do this. So, now we have actually ships coming in. It's actually a really cool, neat little animation, what they have going on for this. So, they bring in, re they bring in basically resources into the docks. I actually really love this. And they, they take all the resources out. And that's it. They're done. They leave. So they just they just kind of place the piles just in the front there. That's all they do <laughs> with it currently at the moment. But it will... We want reloading stations in the next chair of tech to basically fully use that and capitalize upon it. So that's going to be the goal. All right, let's see what's going on here. Indignant engineer. An engineer complains to you, sir, we've been mistakenly lodged in a t tent full of workers. Now you can see, I don't have anything against workers, but they're quite loud and, well, they sort of smell. Can you make sure that I can get moved to engineer's tent? You can say, certainly, or you will have to make do. Uh, remember, we're trying to min-max uh, motivation, so we will say, yeah, sure, I'll put you in, I'll class segregate you, that's fine by me. Again, one of, that's one of the central themes here, so. Alright, so we go here, lake full of fish. It's beaming with steaming with tons of fish, tons of birds are swooping and diving into the water. Plenty of fish in this lake, we can stay here for a couple of days and catch them, we will set up a uh, camp here. So all you have to do is say set up camp, it will send 80 raw food every day. And that's it. So unfortunately my people are getting a little bit on the starving side. That's that's more of the scenario right now of which, uh, yeah, but it's, it's coming in. They'll have it tomorrow, the food, hopefully it won't die. Uh, that one's always a bit rough to get going uh, to, to begin with. It's just like, yeah, they're gonna eat a ton of food. Ventilation or machine shop, let's see. So we got them that second tier. Uh, profiles manufacturer wouldn't be the worst in it to get going. Uh, I also kinda want a reloading station. We'll do, we'll do profiles manufacturer first, is what we'll do. Shift's over. Stow your tools. So it looks like the sawmill's done. And what, what I'll do is I'll put them onto here. Yeah, there you go. So we can we can grab people from wherever we want, and that's it. Also shuffle some people around. So yeah, they, they actually do run out for the sawmills, but I guess, yeah. Oh, well, actually, no, that, that wasn't, a, it didn't run out. Sorry, my bad. It was more that we had too much resources. Am I doing profile manufacture? Yes, I am. All right, so for the next law, let's see. So we've done overcrowding. Uh, we've done hearty meals. I think a chapel wouldn't be the worst idea, because we're trying to, like I said, max out our motivation at the moment. So as you can see, you can kind of just go throw this down wherever you want. But it's you're trying to get the, uh, into as many of the houses as possible kind of thing for this. So it's it's the same as effectively the the chapels in, uh, uh, when you get the, the go down the faith tree, essentially. So, so I'm going to go make one of those. Hoping that food will come in. The line is now open. Good work on setting up the construction uh, camp. Now, now we have a line of communication. Use it to request resources. We will provide what we can, but be aware that your camp is not the only project we supply. There are two other construction sites in your area. Together, these are the three generators that will secure shelter for the inhabitants of Liverpool, should the worst happen. Your fate is in their hands, not let them down. We shall succeed. So you can go ask for anything. This is where the logistical limit comes in. So you can ask for workers, engineers, or steam cores. We will not be ever asking for engineers. We will only ask for workers and steam cores. The engineers thing you'll see a little bit later why I, I don't ask for them. But it kind of makes sense because you're kind of in this scenario where they're trying to do a lot of projects at the same time. And they're trying to go like, well, we only have so much stuff that we can send you at any given moment, given how resources are allocated. So we need workers, and this is a very worker-heavy scenario, so we're going to actually go ship those over. It takes a full day for them to come over. And that is effectively it. So chapel built, motivation rises. They have nowhere to eat, but at least they have a place to do that. And we're going to do food immediately, because the food's about to come in. So my hope is that they're going to not eat the, the raw food. Let's see. They are eating it right now. 
All right, now you have basic infrastructure. It's time to start with the, gener uh, the construction of the generator, build a profiles manufacturer, then produce eight structural profiles. That will allow you to set up this, uh, the stuff, uh, the, the thing. Oh, okay, good, they're, they're building it. So they're gonna go, they're gonna go eat. Um, they're starving right now, but they're gonna go eat. So we, what we do is for the first day or two, we just give them regular meals kind of thing, and that should solve all the food problems. There we go, it's all solved, and they're happy now. And we can go set up shaft infrastructure, but we need to make the <laughs> lovely profiles manufacturer, so we have to wait for that to come in. There's nothing for these guys to do, so I'll put them over there. We're just gonna rearrange people as, as needed. Probably also go make some more tents as well. Might as well, they're essentially free to me. I'm tearing up some things I probably shouldn't be, but that's fine. All right, and we can go get all that going. So we've got a lot we can sign. Let's see, so we're going to do also evening service with our chapel, so people if people can get together in the chapel, they can raise their spirits. So each use of that increased motivation. Unfortunately, I do not have enough food for that at the moment, but we should get that eventually. Alright, there's profile manufacturer. There we go. So we can go toss that down here. Uh, what are we going to build down? Okay. Ooh, that was a little bit of a a little bit of a melting of the video card. Let's go do some reloading stations now, because that's a way more efficient way of unloading uh, everything we need. But they need steam cores, and we only have three. But that will that will tie into it a little bit later. The shift's over. Time to grab a bite. All right, so it's a shame I couldn't get. I, I guess someone did eat raw food, so I mean that's just the luck of the draw. You can't get it. So I really like the I really like doing the motivation stuff. So, but you know, it is what it is. All right, we can now, and this is one of the, the central themes, I think, of this scenario, is you are more than free to reallocate people as you see fit. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be building our lovely structural uh, profiles. But you can rearrange them however you want uh, during whatever day, depending upon your needs. Uh, why you need to do that, <laughs> we'll get we'll get into at some later point, I'm sure. All right, so we're gonna just make the rest of these and that's it. And we got some hungry people again, and that's and that's it. And we got some sick people, but luckily we have all that stuff that we need for that to happen. So we got seven being treated in the care, and that's it. So pretty good, pretty good place to start. Why are they starving again? Stop starving. Yeah, I think it's the people who just came in. They get hungry when they come off the ship. I think. Good morning, people. Time to get busy. We do have a bit more people we can allocate around. I'm just gonna move that guy over there. In treatment, I guess it's the last couple of them. There we go, so that's it. So after that, I'm going to put this to hearty meal, so we get a little bit less food for it, but that will be fine, I don't mind that. And then we'll use our first use of the chapel, which is 20 food right, oh damn, that's double in, in regular scenario, dang. <laughs> but we need that, so we're gonna raise the motivation even more. We gotta use that once off cooldown. All right, work safety, safety concerns. Sir, a few more people fell ill from breathing strange fumes waiting, waiting from the shaft. It could have been worse. One of them passed out and fell from the scaffold. I don't know how that's possible because we don't have anything there, but whatever. We can't ignore safety, uh, health hazards any further. From now on, safety level of every workplace at the construction site will be monitored. If it's low, people working there might get sick. If it's very low, they might get injured or die. I will improve safety. So we want to definitely improve safety. So you get a couple of options here. I think I don't have, you have to wait 14 hours. So now we get this labor part of the tree. And this one actually changes a, a fair bit of things. So you get uh, dispensaries, which is uh, effectively, uh, you can cure gravely ill to ill with potent medical medicines, which causes also some, some problems because they have side effects. Uh, I th I'm not sure if they can die, but I've never actually used this one. But you can use this. Uh, this is kind of a neat one. It's kind of funny. Uh, you can do short shifts, which is building a generator is exhausting and dangerous. When people are not overworked, they will make less mistakes. Uh, you can shorten the, the work uh, the, the workday in the generator from 10 hours to 8. And it raises the workplace safety by 1, and motivation will rise if you basically use that. Uh, this is the, uh, this is kind of funny because, we, you know, if you have a typical job, these days you're working eight hours, but they, they work 10 hours normally. So you can say short shifts are eight hours, which is great. Uh, there's some really funny abuse you can do with this, but we'll, we'll I digress that one. We'll, we'll see, we'll see that one. And you get safety procedures. So people work slower, but safer, safer and using safety procedures will raise workplace safety by one. Uh, motivation will rise slightly 
And uh, but the efficiency go d goes down by twenty five percent. It's probably my least favorite one. This one, but you know, we might we might find some use for it. We'll 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 use it if we have to, kind of a thing for this one. Um, so he's just looking at a little poster. Now, here's where extended shifts comes in. Uh, so and remember how I said there was no emergency shifts anymore. Uh, extended shifts makes their uh, makes its return. Uh, so you could use it. You can extend the workday from any facility to fourteen hours. It causes discontent, and discontent will rise slightly. Uh, when cause they don't like it. The other option besides this is uh, you basically give them more food for working it, so it, it negates the. Uh, they get an extra food ration and it negates the, the, the unhappiness that they get for working extended shifts. Uh, and then there's this one two shifts. Uh, you can permanently extend the workday in any facility to 24 hours. Workplaces on two shifts need double manpower, and working two shifts causes discontent, and discontent will rise, rise slightly. Uh, this is one's really good. Uh, and it's more for the one after that. Work shift coordination lowers the amount of workers you need on one of those buildings by 25%. And it rounds it up. So, for example, like a, um, a laboratory or, or, or sorry, workshop, that's what it is. Uh, workshop normally requires five. Double shifts would raise it to, to ten. And then putting the work shift coordination lowers it to eight again. Uh, and remember what I kind of said about how uh, anything where you do emergency shifts where you have them working 24 hours is really overpowered. Extended shifts is overpowered. This is the most overpowered. <laughs> so you can be not working on it all the time. So that, that one's fantastic. So we're going to be definitely going for that. But I do want to do the law for this. We're going to be doing that one first, though. We didn't get that far in the laws, did we? Over here, did we? Yeah, I kind of stopped at chapel and that was it. So we do have bare knuckle bouts at some point to do, which is evening bouts will reduce discontent. It's the same thing as fighting arenas, but that you don't build anything for that. They just they just punch each other. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, a couple more sick people here. Uh, troubled father, sir. Supply ship occasionally carries sacks of post uh, d d destined for the crew. For security reasons, every inbound and alpha mail is open but read. But sometimes we may require instructions regarding our censorship policy. In this case, a worker received a letter from his wife informing him that one of his daughters is gravely ill. Dire news such as this might, might impact the morale of the crew. Should we redact the part about the sick daughter? Remember, we're min-maxing. We're trying to do all the motivation we can. Uh, you, If you don't censor the letter, motivation will fall. If you censor the letter, it will rise and do that. So censor it. Now, it, it, start, it started to kind of tug at those, those uh, things that you kind of think about, which is like, oh, I don't want to... I don't want to be a, 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 a jerk or whatever, but, you know, in this case, you kind of have to. <laughs> you don't really have a choice. So, you kind of want to. So, our workplace safety is right now harmful, uh, but they're okay right now. Shift's over. Stow your tools. And we just finished reloading stations just in time. After that, let's see what we should do. I think medical post upgrade would be good, but also fishing harbor wouldn't be the best, uh, the worst thing either. But, I, I don't know. What, I, I think I was about to say another word there, but I don't even know what it was. I, uh, I'm, I'm debating. I think medical post upgrade because I'm starting to get a little bit, a little bit wonky here. So let's see. So we have only one generated profile left to do. So we kind of have to get that out of the way. Yeah, this one's constantly complaining about the fact that there it doesn't it has too much wood. But anyways, that's because we need to do reloading stations. So there you go. There's our two reloading stations that we've made, and that was from the steel as well. So now they no longer work uh, on the on the steel itself. They use these reloading stations now instead, which are much much better. We don't even need this guy anymore. We can put him onto here instead. I can even I think I can lower the amount by a couple over here too. But oh yeah, I have a, actually I have a lot in there, so we'll just kind of shuffle this around. Eventually, I'm gonna just want people to work on the generator as soon as this is done. But I'm actually not sure if I can get them to work on it. So. All right, first law, very important. Uh, we're going to go do two shifts. Assuming, of course, that the generator isn't super dangerous, which it may be. Eh, we'll, uh, we'll see. I, I, I really like two shifts, so. So we put this one to 24 hours. There you go. We got, we got one of our workshops just working all the time. Which you could, by the way, once it goes back to regular working hours, you can move it back and put it to 24 uh, regular hours instead. So anything can be basically made to work 24 hours. So I could just say, hey, everyone's working right now. Come on over, fe fellas. But then I could just move it back later on, which it, it does do a little stuff around that to, to kind of dissuade you from doing it, which is more like, there you go, staying home. <laughs> so they could stay home uh, as well. So you don't, you don't want to do it all the time necessarily. 
But it's it's not that important right now. It's more important for research right now because it's gonna let me do double the amount of research. So you could just like go like, yeah, I'm not working. <laughs> not my problem. So, uh, in terms of the generator, so we do have a milestones, and we're right now three days ahead of schedule with our shaft infrastructure. Uh, so we may be having to wait a little bit on that because we may have to get some reduce, uh, some better safety stuff for the for working on the generator. So that may be something we end up doing. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I, for, I forget how it is initially when you kind of work on it. But yeah, we're currently trying to work on hearty meals at the moment. So we're gonna need uh, some better food as well. So when they eat, it should be raising motivation actually quite substantially. So if we actually look at our food, where is it at? So economy wise, food is just barely not enough. All right, we are gonna need to do something else with that then. Cause we don't get enough raw food with that right now. So now nah, it's enough. Because I want to bring in also more people, so <laughs> we're, we're wait, this is the the name of the game is people in this case. All right, so shaft in infrastructure because we built the profile manufacturers. It is deadly or dangerous. High risk of falling ill, risk of accidents. Uh, it is not the best, but we can try it. I usually like to keep it at about uh, harmful or up. So, let's see. It's typically what I want to have it at, but I'll try and make this work. We don't need so many of these either. How much is, wood is in here? Eh, we got tons of wood. So I'm just going to reallocate people to other areas now. Alright, there we go. Hopefully it won't be, it'll be okay. Yeah, so we can't we can't quite maintain the amount of standard meals I wanted to, but you know it is what it is. All right, so medical post is done. I want to do fishing harbor immediately so I can get uh, more food so I can keep that going all the time. Folks, I'm not going to 24 hour that, by the way. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to do short shifts. So that will increase the workplace safety and motivation will rise. Also good. So there you go. Now it should be good. Now it's now it's just now it's simply harmful. It's not, not nothing else anymore. So we'll keep it to that. Even though that kind of overlaps on the 24-hour thing I wanted to do. So, but we can we can we can work around that. We had some other options. You get some you get some cool little snazzy abilities, which is particularly around here where you can uh, uh, increase the workplace safety by one for 24 hours. The cost is six structural profiles. I think it's more of a survivor thing where it's that bad, but you know it is what it is, and it's gonna be people who are falling sick mostly from the uh, fact they were working in, the, in I think the conditions that they were. Dang, there's a lot of people that are constantly sick, and I think I, I definitely want to do yeah evening service. We have to keep going off of cooldown. All right, so next things next, we did medical posts. Uh, we don't need sawmill upgrade. What I might do is I might do more forgers, so I can start scouting around. That isn't that important, though. I like protective structures, and that would help us get the generator done, but... Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. It's decisions, decisions. This is kind of why I did up the difficulty, because it was actually just too easy on the on hard. It was. It's a lot, it's a lot harder on this one, because I have to now make more decisions, and timing actually matters a lot. For this so yeah uh yeah because yeah six six profile because you can get a lot of the generator done with that but we'll see all right i'll do more forgers for now all right they're they're working on it with short shifts i mean we could also do the efficiency based one but i don't know uh, we kind of want all of them let's be honest all right, we got some more workers, so that can we can start shuffling people into different buildings. What I'll do is I'll actually get these ones to go. I'll make the six that it wants. All right, let's see. Toxic gases, sir. We have a situation. We have detected dangerous concentration of toxic gases uh, across the whole construction site. Breathing them will cause people to get sick, uh, but we'll keep them working. We have no choice. These g gases are venting from the depths of the source. Uh, so this is this would be a geothermal source, I believe. So it's it's heavily implied that's where that's a lot of what the generators kind of need is they need a geothermal vent or something along those lines. It's part of the reason it's, it's on this part of the world kind of thing. 
Uh, the guests are venting. So, uh, so the guests are venting from the depths of the source, and their toxicity level changes constantly. We'll monitor it, but we'll warn you about any changes 24 hours in advance. Okay, so work safety fall, falls by one level. It's right now dangerous. Not much I can do about that right now. I would have to increase it as well. That's one of the first events we kind of get. And so we could do safety procedures if we want to. There's a lot of good ones here, like workplace are 10% more efficient during uh, short shifts. Uh, it will cause a little bit of discontent and will rise slightly. We also do work shift coordination, which is when they are doing it. Uh, <laughs> when it this would be 25% less workers. I don't think I could justify this one right now because I can't get that building to work 24 hours without it being extremely deadly. Uh, I don't want to really lower the efficiency of it right now, so what we're going to do is we're going to do work standardization to make it so that they're going to be a little bit more efficient. And yeah, so they can't really work on it all the time. How's the generator going now? Five days ahead of schedule, so it's going pretty good right now. I'm hoping that I can just get most of this done here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But we'll see. I don't think I don't think I will get it all done, but we'll. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm gonna get more wood actually. All right, more forgers completed. All right, so with that being done, let's do sawmill upgrade because that's more wood. And getting another... Oh yeah, we need to get the fishing harbor. So that, that one you could be all the way out of the way. Remember, these don't have to be connected by road, so you can go as far as you want with a lot of them. Yeah, I'll get one more. Actually, we don't need that many. Okay, there is way too many sick people. Oh my goodness. Okay, they're getting sick because of the gases right now. Alright, so what might be the best play is to get the medical post. Another one. This is uh, part of the reason I really like uh, the infirmaries, which I want to start going into, but that is a little bit a ways away from the technology tree. It's in mechanical calculators, so... But I, at this point, I can't justify this one, because I need to make another one. Uh, maybe I don't, actually. We'll just leave that be. Let's just, let's just see how it goes. There's only th three sick people, and it's, it is a little bit more efficient, so we'll see. Uh, let's see, safety procedures... Wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, it will make them work a little slower, but hey. But the, the gas will go up, will rise tomorrow as well, so it's important to note that. If the gas is really bad, you either have to put on this, or you could just say, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, employ anyone at this work day right, uh, workplace right now. That's an option. You can have them go gather resources instead, which is a totally viable strategy, actually, in this. It's it's actually quite cool. But I could also do protective structures as well, so that, that could be the, the play that we go for. Uh, I'm actually not sure if I want that in this case, though. Because I don't think I really need that right now. It'd be fast reloading. Docks will be 10% more efficient. Uh, I would rather start going down the... Uh, I like to start going down drafting trees. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I really need. What would I get at the next level, though, is, a, is the real question. We can get steam sawmills, upgraded docks, which we don't need, foundries. Optimized materials isn't bad, because that makes the the profile manufacturer... Uh, uh, the, the profiles are basically become more, more cheaper, is what it does. But there's actually nothing else really there, so I'm going to do docks, actually. It's actually two research levels that we kind of want. And there's people that are starving for some reason. Despite the fact there was readily some food available. Alright, house of disease. Here's a really good one. This is a really important one. So, I've read this one a little bit, but I'll, I'll, I've read it up of this one, I've played it a fair bit, but I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll give you the good, the good run through of what this all, all is about. So, House of Disease, a worried medic reports of an outbreak of venereal disease at the House of Pleasure. One of the, one of the employees got the clap and is spreading it. Fucking Derek. It's Derek's fault. Anyways. Anyone who has the clap has, is a Derek automatically. Uh, we must start mandatory uh, medical ex ex uh, examinations of the staff and send the infected home or at least isolate them. So you get three options here. And if you look this up, because I was, I was, this is actually one of, the, one of the big decisions. It's very controversial as well, because there's a lot of deep, like, things. I will think about it mostly from, like, the game logistical standpoint, but a lot of people don't like this one because there's a lot of Im implications around, you know, because they're talking about... The, 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 the prostitutes, essentially, right? Um, so you can cure the infected. So you're saying infected prostitutes will be treated as gravely ill. Discontent will rise. Deport the infected, which I don't have the necessary law for that. 
Uh, so you can't ever come back to this, but this is not one you want to do, anyways, because you don't want to get you don't want to send people home if you don't if you don't have to. You want to keep it, you you see the logistical stuff. Uh, how I have to bring them in here to do the stuff. It's important. So shut down the house of pleasure. It will no longer raise motivation. Discontent will rise greatly. Well, we have we have a generator to build. Come on. Uh, or we could say we can't afford it, which people will just get more sick more frequently and discontent will rise. So as you can see, sick people is already kind of a problem that I have, right? So it's one of those things where, as far as I could tell, and most people are mostly, they hate this one mostly because of what the implication is. Because you're saying, are, <laughs> you're, are you saying that the, 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 the prostitutes are the problem? Are you saying, well, it's more the, the people's fault or something? I don't know. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to think too deeply of it. Like I said, I'm thinking more of the the game standpoint but there's a lot of like and and this is what this game is supposed to do and everyone understands that which is it's supposed to tuck up those strings of morality right of of you know <laughs> do you want to do you want to build this generator or do you want to do some shitty things to get it done faster in our case it's just a game we don't care so uh but you know it, there's a whole debate about it uh on the internet about it because i was looking this up to see like what is the the best option because i wasn't sure and it's people are very conflicted um you definitely don't want to shut it down if you want the motivation but it's essentially do you want to do people get sick more frequently just going to rise or uh, or infected prostitutes will be treated treat as gravely ill this is the one that i feel is the best one because you can you can just cure them i do i do find a bit of irony in the fact that uh if uh, what you could if you signed uh what was it called um radical uh if you get the amputation law uh, someone could get the clap and then get the, the get their leg sawed off or their arm sawed off or whatever. <laughs> so, I, I don't know how that works, but uh, apparently that's uh, apparently how it is. If if there's something, don't don't explain it to me. If there's something to do with this that I don't want to hear, just like let's just let's just let's just leave let, let's just leave it be. Uh, but like I said, let's just talk about primarily the game standpoint. I feel that the first one is the best option. Uh, making people sick more often means less generator efficiency as it is. Because uh, people are going to get sick. I would rather just have the minimum amount of people uh, be treated as gravely ill, and we will treat them at infirmary when we get there. So uh, we're going to do that one. So we don't have anyone in palliative care yet. Just regular people sick. And I think we are going to need to do something about the, the sick people. So let's go get that out of the way. Alright, so Derek's clap is something fierce. So, workers trapped. Sir, an explosion caught uh, a generous foundation caused a tunnel collapse, trapping several workers. Unfortunately, we can't send a rescue team since we don't have one, give it, due to the low priority given to workplace safety in the shaft. Uh, work, crews are in there uh, working despite uh, the crews working there lack adequate training. So, you cannot send a work uh, workplace because it would have to be safe. Uh, this is not really a possibility in this uh, in this difficulty because it's just too low the the, the workplace safety you can't do it. Um, well, okay, I'm not because you can't do it. I'm sure there's a way, but it's 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 hard. Let me just say that uh, you can either blow up the cave in, which is the trapped workers will live, but it will set back the progress of your construction by forty percent, or you say keep working, trapped workers will die, motivation will fall greatly. So we're gonna blow up the cave in uh, to to save them because we want to keep everyone alive. Uh, if we can, as much as possible. Discontent is going to rise pretty high. But we're doing pretty good otherwise. But there was there was a slight problem here. And it's right now deadly. Is it deadly? Oh yeah, it's totally deadly. Why? Oh, the gas has went up. That's why. Okay, so we have to make sure that's that's also like so that would that's an event by the way that's not caused by anything but we want to make sure it's at least dangerous uh, most dangerous we don't want it to be deadly working conditions. Get some rest, people. Well, we'll do this until the next day, but you do have to you do have to pay attention to things like that. What we're gonna do now though is I'm going to move one of our engineers into here. Yeah, I just want to get rid of the the workers and make them reallocate them accordingly. Now we may not need him anymore. Just as just as the next day happened there, but yeah, that's uh, and there's 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 like three of these events, so three of them we have to worry about. So that's just a part of the game and what you have to deal with. Let's do some drafts as well. I also built this lovely fishing harbor. Let's actually get some people on that. I would like to do 24 hours, but unfortunately that would double the 
or capacity of it, but I think that might be fine. Let's just do that for now. The next lot I want, definitely want to go for. Okay, yeah, we're going to need definitely another another little camp here. Do we? I'm so conflicted on it because it's like these two people are moving around slightly, so. Alright, so back on this guy. Uh, so we did work standardization, we did safety procedures. After that is after hours equipment maintenance, which would permanently lower, lower all workplace uh, accident risk, but also the discontent will rise permanently. Uh, there's also this lovely shift work coordination, which we will do because it will. Uh, two shifts will cause more discontent, but you get to kind of shuffle some people around. This solves my little problem of how to how to man two medical outposts, so it mends both. I'm not bringing people. I'm not bringing more. Uh, <laughs> not bringing anything else. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna keep keep going with workers at the moment. I'm not bringing engineers in. I refuse to. So that means I can work this 24 hours. It's not 15 people, and we can I think that's fine. That's good. All right. So just making sure that everything else is fine here. You can get five people onto that. Just debating how to kind of move this around. There we go. Okay, that should be okay. I've been kind of, I've been kind of debating. Oh, that's where a lot of my wood is. My, some of my wood is in the profile. This is like a bank, which is amazing. <laughs> you can actually put people into this to get them to do that. So. You can, you can you can just store wood in there, which is fantastic. How uh, motivation? Sir, people are so highly motivated that many of them will perform their jobs with enthusiasm. It, it, the efficiency in all workplaces rises as a result. Well done. All right, cool. So I would really like to get. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the food kind of go a little bit more. I'm going to use the food rations ability. Construction stri site strike. Sir, people at the construction site stopped work. A worker climbs. Uh, uh, on an overturned wheelbarrow and shouts to his fellows, We saved our friends, sure, this time, but how long until the deadline is more important than us? Such catastrophes will keep happening. Who's going to be, uh, who's going to slave to repair the damage? How many of us won't make it home in one piece? We need to do something. So it's on strike. So we can negotiate and we can say, uh, you have three days to open a bathhouse. Uh, we can do better working conditions, which uh, I won't be doing. Or we can try to appease them with rations. We need food for that. So I'll just say I'm going to do the bathhouse. Strike resolve, people uh, go to work. So this is now where it splits off. So remember how you had face versus order. Now you get workers and engineers. The difference, well, the theme of this mostly is that this is the uh, basically authoritarianism of the majority versus authoritarianism of the minority. Uh, and if you were kind of in the, uh, if you're kind of thinking the the previous Frostpunk episodes, like where's the communism themes, because they were more authoritarianism, but they didn't really go into any particular things. Uh, that's where workers kind of comes into. So they go dip into that a little bit. Uh, if 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 that you're so inclined, uh, you could experience the horrors of communism over here, or you could do um, this one is more about penal colonies. <laughs> So, just to spoil what they both are kind of roughly loosely based upon. So it's pedo colonies versus uh, communism. That's what it's essentially about. Uh, the difference being, uh, for the most part, is... So, and remember how I kind of alleviated to before about how the engineers are spoiled and they will not work on things that they're... They, they have degrees, right? They don't want to work on these things. Uh, part Later in the workers' tree, you would essentially get a, a abolition of privileges, which would basically force the engineers to work well, you can force engineers to work in the generator, or you can force uh, workers to work in things like uh, medical outposts and stuff. There's certain events that happen with with uh, making the workers work in places that they're not supposed to. Uh, they're also less efficient at working in things that they're not supposed to would be the, would be the thing. But they do things like they, they, they screw up like uh, doctoring stuff and whatever. So, uh, But the end of this one gets really funny. So at the end of the workers tree, what they essentially do is uh, the very top one is uh, you make an execution platform and you basically execute every single day uh, a discontenter. <laughs> and it's usually, ironically, an engineer. I think it's exclusively engineers until you kill them all. Uh, so they, they just start killing engineers uh, is what they do at the, at the very top. And, uh, but that raises motivation to its max every single day because they see what happens to, you know, the, it's, it's pretty dark, it's pretty dark. Uh, but most of the stuff that workers kind of do are, are they're more about strike appeasement because we just had a strike that we have to deal with, uh, which is one of the main themes. By the way, only generator sites can go on strike. They will not strike at the workshop or at the docks or anything like that. Apparently they're not unionized, go figure. Uh, but workers are better for motivation and appeasing uh, 
appeasing them for for strikes and things like that. That's what that's what they're primarily focused upon, I would say. Uh, engineers are more focused upon efficiency and safety is what they're all about. Uh, they have some like little bit of overlap that they kind of do in, in these cases, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be siding with. I always side with the engineers. I feel as engineers are better because as you can see, I don't have a problem with motivation. I just brought it up to full. It won't be a, that that won't be the problem the entire time. But by basically siding with them, we will improve workplace safety. Uh, factory factory inspectors will check to see uh, if the empl um, employees follow the rules. Uh, they will they will improve the safety up to the three utmost uh, the most dangerous places. But you will have to build it. Uh, you also get an internal promotion, which is which is why I wasn't shipping in any engineers because you can promote five workers to engineers, so you don't have to ship the men. Because given the logistic costs. Uh, the the cores are worth 20, workers are worth two, and engineers are worth four. Is how it works with logistics costs, and that's a fixed resource that we just gain over time. Uh, this saves that resource, and so we we can essentially keep bringing in workers to work on the generator and just promote people as necessary. Uh, this has some other implications later, but uh, mostly with like how you deal with penal colony. So penal colony would be, and we will eventually get up there, but I don't think I'll actually do it. I'll try to avoid doing it. I don't think I will need to do it. We'll go with that. Uh, safety is more of the concern with me and survivor difficulty. Uh, so, keeping that, uh, keeping the efficiency up, and keeping the keeping the generator building is is the key because then people don't get into accidents and things like that. But when you get to convicts, so convicts are really interesting. So convicts have to be watched over. Uh, but and, and and I'll get into that maybe later. But I'm probably not signing the law if I don't have to. But with the convicts, what they will do is they will they will not strike because they're they're not. They're involuntary workers. They're being forced to work. Uh, there's a lot of really dark things you can do there. Trust me. Uh, but well, I will definitely show you by the end, if not for my other save. Uh, my other save, I did go into it just to show it off because I thought it was really funny. But okay, it's not funny, but you know, uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just go with that. Um, anyways, but comics are only a logistical capacity of one. They're much easier to ship over. Is is the way it works because I guess they don't they don't have to be paid. <laughs> so that's kind of how it is. Uh, in terms of canon, I, I believe the convict side is the way to go because uh, that goes more with the plot of the the Frostbunk because they, they alleviate to it a little bit in um, the last one, which is on the edge of that that it is implied that yeah, convicts were used a lot, uh, so that's that's a part of it. So, anyways, you get your internal promotion if you want later, but we have to, we have to wait two days. Fortunately, I did it kind of screw me because I think I have to yeah I got I got some time to open the bathhouse. Luckily, it knew that. So the next one guaranteed has to be the bathhouse that we open up. So we can make a factory introspect. Uh, we will build it over here. Yeah, this is good. Alright, anyways, they're gonna build this thing and apparently the toxic gases are not gonna fall yet. So we gotta we gotta keep the workplace procedures like the way they are. Fortunately, we are, we are still three days ahead of schedule. Apparently, this might go on strike, but uh, we'll just keep the way it is. Because there's nobody working there, so no, nobody will strike. But, yeah, you can see the laws here are pretty good for, like, getting people to, to do what you want them to do, which is really nice. Alright, so, Bad Omen. This morning, this camp is strangely quiet. People pass in the bad news in hushed voices. An owl is perched ab atop the scaffolding. Despite it being broad daylight, there were super, uh, they were superstitious even in the best of times, but here, in this remote, harsh place, they see this as the worst omen. Worse than a, a herd of black cats. The, the construction site workers refuse to work, uh, return to work while the bloody bird is, sits there. They also say to shoot away would even bring, a, bring even worse luck. What should we do? So there's just an owl just sitting there, so we could say, let's wait, construction will stop, or shoot away, discontent will rise, which I'm just going to let this discontent, discontent go up. The generator must be continued. We must continue it. All right, let's see what's going on. A taste of home. Sir, what, uh, although many of the people back home are facing starvation, a well-off relative of one of our engineers sent him a large parcel of treats. Should we uh, hold on to the food? It may stir up trouble or, God forbid, uh, God forbid fuel a parallel economy. So we give the man his food or confiscate the par parcel, which is just because that will rise, we'll get 50 food rations. I like having food rations. I'm going to keep that. Alright, drafting machines completed. So, optimized materials won't be the worst thing to get. 
Binder Mesh is also pretty good because it makes the fishing harbor more efficient. Uh, steam sawmills also not bad because we're trying to do some stuff with the steam sawmills. Uh, upgrade docks is probably a no-go at the moment. I'm just debating. I really want to go for that medical one, but we don't have anyone in plate of care yet, so we're still good to wait on that. I guess we could do... We don't need the charcoal kil uh, kiln. It's a kiln. I am saying it correctly, I promise you. Uh, <laughs> the docks wouldn't be the worst thing as well. Well, we don't need the docks right now. That still can wait. Let's do optimized materials. We'll start with that, because that's a good one to get. So things are going pretty good right now. Let's see. Yeah, our, our food's our food's perfectly fine too. So let's see. Is there, how's our food doing with our production? Pretty good. And you can see that the horn changes slightly. All right. And one of the nice things you can do about this, this is this is the, one of the best things you can do. So you can just put one person into the factory introspect, and that's fine. It will. Uh, it basically scales it based upon the efficiency, and it will always be at least one workplace it will lower the, the accident risk uh, to, as long as that person is actually working there. Is one of the kind of funny things you can do. So a little bit of wave cheesing around it, but you can do that. And really, they're only really working on one place, at the moment at least, uh, for for basically uh, workplace safety, essentially. So, But it only works when it's actually up, and it's not right now up at the moment. But it's an important building. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to also get the, the next forger's quarters right here. Alright, we got more people coming in. Uh, let's see, we can get some more housing too. Oops. Yeah, there you go. And, yeah, so we already did the evening service with the chapel. We'll get some of these going. What I'll do is I'll raise this as well. So we're gonna make some, we did the profile, yeah, yeah. So we, we did optimize materials, so now our profile manufacturers are much cheaper to, to produce now. We will eventually need a machine shop. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if I need that right now. Yeah, so the, the, the cheaper ones don't come until much later. We can also see what the what the generator will require in the next stage. You can see 10 XT exchangers, 10 structural profiles for the foundations, so. We can might as well get that that research out of the way now. All right, so the gas the gases went down a bit, so we can actually go back to putting them at full efficiency now, and we can keep making more profiles. Discontent strikes, sir. We we like to draw your attention to the high level of discontent amongst our people. The higher it is, the more like li likely people talk about striking. So there, there. It says there, there's a bit of a strike risk. So I'll have to bring it down a bit again. Fortunately, because strikes are uh, obviously not something I really want to deal with. And this one's still good though. Why is he not? One second. For some reason, this guy is slacking because he's not there. What is he doing? I'm going to go eat. How about now? I'm gonna just shuffle some people around. Okay, yeah, it's because that's why I would not be on strike then. There you go. That's what it should be. <laughs> Weird. All right, we need three more of these, and then we can finish up whatever we we're doing there. That's why he was slacking off a bit over there. He wasn't doing what he was supposed to. Yeah, and there you go. Here's a good, here comes another. Because why? Why is there another strike? I guess it. I guess it. I guess it's onto my trick star at this point. Because I swear it used to always kind of work. I gotta, I gotta make sure it's not going on strike. Whatever. We might, we might have to wait on that factory introspect, anyways. Uh, we're at 91%. It's okay. We're still a couple days ahead. We're three days ahead, so it's not like we're in a major issue at, at this point. We're done these profile profiles as well, so we can kind of do that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this one over 24, 24 hours, and we're gonna just get steel. So the end of the game right now is to just build as much as we can. Uh, so one of the things you can do with these lovely steam exchangers is you can supercharge. So you can use five steam exchangers to basically advance work by 10%. On a, but I don't use them for that because I feel like that's a total waste of resources. I, I, I don't like doing that, so we don't bother with that. What I'll probably do is I have a lot of logistical limit. I'm going to bring another steam core in as well as more people. And where's it at? 
I can go get another forager steam going here. Actually, it's a, probably more research to do. I, I should either go into the next tier or do something else. Finer mesh, maybe? I don't know. I don't think I need that. Steam sawmills also are kind of good, but I have a lot of wood at the moment. Which means I probably should uh, deallocate people from stuff. But also, yeah, let's get upgraded docks. We'll do that first. Upgrade docks, you'll see what that's all about. And it's a pretty good one, actually. Where is our generator stuff? There's a machine shop. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one. <laughs> I like how I just place it and they're going to strike. That's great. So yeah, let's go get that going. We're going to start building the parts I need for that. So unfortunately, the toxicity will raise tomorrow, but what are you going to do? Also, this guy is uh, slacking off too. I have a lot of slackers that work in my... Uh, my colony. Let's go, let's go with that. It's not a colony. So we still have high motivation, which is excellent. We we definitely want that. Also, a very good thing we should do, actually, is build some resource depots. And the reason we're going to do that is uh, for the food, because I actually have a lot of food right now. I can shuffle people around. Alright, and the... Yeah, I can shuffle people around and... and and sorry, that that's unrelated to the food topic. As he did promise bathhouses, so we have to do bathhouses. Now, what I do with bath bathhouses is great. So, <laughs> listen, listen. The most efficient place to put it is right here. Don't trust me on this. This is uh, the name of the game. So, yeah, we need to we need to make that lovely bathhouse. So, uh, bathhouses are a bit funny. All right, we're done the uh, we're done the milestone here. So we have to build the, the, the foundation. So we've done the primary part. So now it says, bef uh, before laying the foundations, which will support the massive bulk of the generator, you have to spend your workers, send your workers deep below to build the powerful uh, power uh, tower pumps there. Finished docks, and we can now go into, I don't think steam sawmills are the play. I also don't have enough steel. Probably gonna have 24 hour of these guys. So we're gonna start shuffling some people around. Uh, this is all done, and we can actually just start working on the pressure valves now, which just requires a little bit here. There you go. Now it's, just, it's just merely unsafe. This this is definitely not that the factory introspect needs more workers. I'm gonna have to go work at that in a minute. But we kind of finished whatever we need for this one, so it kind of got finished. Uh, we can go get more food rations. So sorry, what was I on about? Oh yeah, it's the lovely bathhouse. So. This requires 60 coal a day to work, uh, so we kind of just build it just to make them happy. Uh, so we built a bathhouse. Uh, I guess I need some coal. I guess I have to get it working. Uh, abandoned site. Congratulations on completing your first milestone on schedule. Meanwhile, uh, after funding cuts and a catastrophic accident at Site 107, the project was scrapped and remaining workers scheduled for evacuation. If you could spare men, order forgers to search the coordinates and recover whatever materials you can. We have far from enough uh, generators to evacuate everyone should the end thing will happen. Your task is now even more important. I actually should have been sending people out to, to work on this, but I did not do that. Let me go rearrange some people around. I, I, I did make the extra forgers. I kind of forgot about this, but we, we want to go to Bald Hill. I'll go to the closer place first. I kind of built that a little while ago, but I've been I've been kind of all over the place here, as you can imagine. All right. So for next tech, I can. Is there something simple I can get? Like maybe the. I'm not doing faster gathering. I would like to get the. Yeah, I'll just do. I'll just do that then to start. We definitely need more steel though. That's why we're 24 houring that one, though. Uh, improved docks. How, how expensive is that going to be? Uh, 20 steel, at least. I might actually switch this over to steel. But I'm hoping I won't need to. Ah, uh, yeah, we can do it. There we go. We're going to need some more steam cores and some other lovely stuff. Yeah, because like this, I, I can't make any steam exchangers because of the, uh, the, amount of, the amount it requires for that, so... It's better when you're kind of low on something is to just put everyone onto other buildings. So I'm, I'm basically stockpiling a bunch of structural profiles for later, and that's it. And this guy is not quite there. Yeah, we'll just wait. I'm just waiting for everything to pass. Oh yeah, so the... Oh yes, I have to do that. One second. I almost forgot. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to have a coal pile here. I'm going to 24 hour it. Transport has arrived, so we got one of our steam cores. Because I have to open the bathhouse. It says to just build one. So I can I can make turn it on and, oh, look, we built the bathhouse as promised. And uh, now we're going to immediately deconstruct it. <laughs> so goodbye, bathhouse. Uh, I don't I don't bother with the bathhouses at all. So this is this is the this is the gamer generator right now. All right, <laughs> there will be no baths. So we're gonna use this to kind of stockpile a bunch of things here. One second, where's our reloading station? All right, so we 24 hours, and this is what the upgraded version of the docks does. It creates another place that we'll drop off materials to. So uh, we're doing that with just the steel, and we're gonna make another reloading station as the ships keep coming in. I really like the animations for it. The animations are like totally sick. But it's a total waste of coal that could be better used on other things. Let's just go with that. Alright. And I want to reallocate some people here. Alright. So nesting place. Alright. So you can just go right to Bald Hill. So we're going to go to check out this other generator that they're, they're talking about. And I can get actually some more people to work on food as well while we're stockpiling it. I am not on hearty meals. I should be on hearty meals. I did not realize it was not. Our motivation is still good, though. And we can also do the church uh, up ability to keep that going. All right, finer mesh completed. So we have enough now to go into mechanical calculators. We will do that. And I will also, at the same time, grab another steam core. That one's going to be important because I'm going to use that to use it to make an infirmary, which I desperately want to upgrade to. All right, for the next one, I really want to go to internal promotion so we can actually fix our problems with the engineers that we want. So we're going to do that first because there's nothing I'm actually waiting on here. Now, to do that, it's a little bit interesting, but I... Oh, yeah, I need some more wood now, too. I got to shuffle some people around. All right, what's your problem? Harbingers of doom. People across the whole camp leap to their feet, awakened by the sound of angry screeches. Dungeons, dozens of huge birds circling over the, the construction site. The owls are back, moaned the terrified workers. It's a sign. The heavens warn us. We shouldn't be here. We're doomed. After a while, the birds disappear above the bay, leaving our people severely shaken. Motivation will fall even more each morning. Fucking owls. There you go. What have the owls ever done for us? Nothing is the answer. Is there anyone else I can allocate around? Oh, wait, I have, I have wood right here. What am I talking about? All right, so we have... Okay, so here's what you need. You need five unemployed workers, which I have. And you go to this lovely building, and I'm not sure why it doesn't see that. I wonder if it actually matters if they're sick or not. Oh, but you know what, you know what, you know what the problem is? It's that there's nobody working here, I think. Hi, can you can you do your thing? No. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if it matters if they're sick or not, but you can now promote five of these lovely workers to engineers, and now I can put them back into whatever. So now we have more engineers, and that's how we continue the the lovely train of just. Uh, don't don't bother to ship in engineers. We will make them on the spot kind of thing. It costs steel. It costs wood. Uh, not the best, but, you know, it's fine. It's going to make more steam exchangers. So we're going to need eight of those as well. And that's it. Assholes are striking. Negotiate. Workers are angry and refuse to work. I think it was just because, like, the, the factory introspect has been a problem for me so far. This I don't know why it's so such an issue, but... Um, they refuse to work, they shout about exploitation, terrible work conditions, wah wah wah, they hate it. Uh, so we can say better working conditions, we have to raise it above dangerous. Uh, comfortable quarters, we have three days to pass comfortable quarters. Try to appease them with extra rations or I need to think about it. We're gonna do comfortable quarters because I would be doing that anyways. Uh, so just to show you what that is, uh, that would be a law, sorry. Uh, so if we go under administration, you get actually two options here, you get, uh, after, and this is why we kind of do bathhouse, but we we just build the bathhouse and deconstruct it just so we we pass the motivation. So these were both really good strikes for me because they're things I would have done anyways. 
right? And this other one is, as well is the same deal. So crowded quarters does housing will accommodate now for 12 people, discontent will rise permanently, and motivation will still fall slightly. Um, and this is very reminiscent of, uh, <laughs> ironically, some death campy looking stuff from World War II. Uh, they had this kind of bed bunkhouse kind of thing. That's what it reminds me of, at least. I'm sure it was a like kind of like a um, not. I, I don't. Th I'm not gonna say it's a normal thing, but it, it probably wasn't that uncommon to have uh, bedding situations like this. Uh, but I mean, that's what that's the thing it reminds me of immediately. Uh, when I look at this, but anyways, so you can say 12 people for a single tent, or you can do comfortable quarters, which is. Uh, I like how look, different it looks. This is eight people. I'm not sure how this is, goes from 12 to eight, but you know, that's how it is. Uh, but this one's a better one to do because re realistically, tents only cost housing. They're cheap as hell. So you might as well just do the one that permanently lowers discontent, you know? Because I've already offset it with uh, the use of all these other controversial laws. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, so this is what it should be, which is like, Efficiency 78% will do two buildings, and it'll make them both more better to work at, kind of a thing. Alright, Bald Hill. So the hill isn't very tall, but we can see a wide view over the plain. We can see a string of dark spots not very far from here. Move on. So we got nature sculpture, or we have lost crates. Uh, I guess I'll do the lost crates first. We'll go down here, and well, this has like engineers this way. Why that one's not so bad to do. That's why I should have been doing it earlier, but I didn't. But, yeah, I forgot to... Uh, maybe we should do the... Yeah, okay, I'll do the Lost Crates first. Um, the other thing is that this guy is done. Um, they're, like, full of fish, so we're gonna bring him down to the hawk, uh, hunting ground. So, the outposts are not forever. They're temporary. Uh, so, I have to go send him away down to another place now, so... These lovely guys are working on their generator. Let's see. All right. Factory introspect bonus. Uh, an engineer from the factory introspect comes to talk to you. I have great news, boss. To celebrate the opening of the introspect, the company sent us a shipment of fine tobacco. A rare sight in these in these times. Wouldn't it be nice to share with the workers? You say great idea, which is uh, strike risk will fall for two days, or you could do efficiency will rise by 10% for two days. I, I'm kind of conflicted on this one because efficiency will rise by 10%. That's on all the buildings, but I'm already doing a minus 25 on that one because I have to do that for the safety <laughs> reasons. But what I'm gonna, gonna actually do is I'm gonna do um, efficiency, because efficiency applies to everything, I think. So we'll do keep it for the engineers. So despite the fact I have this lovely thing here, you can actually see all the math going in here. 25 high uh, motivation, 10% work standardization, 10% fine tobacco, negative 25 st work standard workplace. But the thing is, these also become more efficient too, which I need them to be more efficient. I need materials, so. That's the important part. So as long as you have like about six engineers working here, it's it's fine. It will be okay. And these guys are gonna finish. I really need that infirmary. Is there anything else that is I'm giving up by not doing that? Steam reloading isn't that important. Salmo range ex extension is not bad, but not that important. All right, let's get the infirmary out of the way. But yeah, we're gonna have to stay on the steel the steel side of things for quite a while. I could also 24 hour this building too. That could be what we do. Uh, we only have one. Okay, yeah, let's let's 24 hour it. There we go. Hey, they're gonna work a little bit less efficiently. That's fine. Uh, so I do have. I did promise a comfortable quarters, but we do not have to do that immediately. So let's have a look around to see what we got. We're not gonna do dispensary because I don't really care about the gravely ill stuff. Accident risk is not a big deal to me right now. Um, because it, it's just, I think it just makes people less sick a little bit often. Overseers are pretty good, but I actually need more engineers to make that worthwhile. So I don't have to sign that right away. There's no rush. Care house isn't that important because I think I do not have any... Yeah, no. Uh, oh, wait, I have two in palliative care. So I do have someone in palliative... Some people in palliative care. But that will eventually go away. So I don't actually need to so sign the care house right now. Uh, nobody died, so I don't need either one of these. Uh, bare knuckle bouts wouldn't be the worst because that's like... Uh, uh, reducing discontent is, is actually not a bad idea. So... But comfortable quarters is actually a really easy way of just, like, making everyone happy, so... We'll do that. Listen, everybody. New regulations. So, it didn't actually change because I overbuilt housing anyways, but we now have 12 vacant beds available, and there's... Uh, another four on the way, so... We could go build a couple more tents as well to go with it. 
Uh, well, we don't necessarily need it right now. There isn't actually a whole lot of space we can get up to get up all the way over here, so. This will be pretty much the limit of what this, this place is able to do. I, tr I should have actually built it more to the right side. I, I forgot that it, there was like a cliff here, so. But it is what it is. Do I not have more workers available? Where are the workers at? I can have these guys work at it. I don't really need so much of that building, so. Let's get these uh, steam guys out of the way. And then we're gonna have to work on some other stuff, but that'll be besides the fact. Waiting, so lost crates. So these wooden crates are used to transport valuable or fragile goods. They're, they're stenciled with prominent signs warning against dropping them. There's still composites and steam exchangers here. Explore. Finders keepers? Ex uh, expecting the crates, we found some steam exchangers and steel composites. These valuable resources must have been destined for the winter home construction site. It seems they got mislaid, fell off a trailer or something. All right, so we can either not take the crates or they're the winter home crates. Let's go take them. So there's a lot of uh, steam exchangers and composites. That's a lot of resources, right? So there's our cargo convoy over here. So let's go check out what that's all about. So uh, there's a little bit of implication there of uh, what may have happened to uh, the winter home site there. I like this mostly because it's like, you know what it means. <laughs> you know what it means when they didn't get that thing, so. All right, undergrounds, explore. There's a watering place, gentle banks of the swiftly flowing stream are convenient watering place. We could set up camp here for uh, some time to hunt the animals in the water. Uh, all right, so we can go bring some more camps over here. There's also a small waterfall though. I don't think I really need the food to be fair, but I am stockpiling it with food rations. So that's why I tried to add a few more here. Cause I just realized also this guy's not really doing much anymore. I could reallocate them to like some other things or something, I don't know. All right, infirmary research. So this will be something I, I guess I could just build it over here. Yeah, we'll, we'll build it right there, that's fine. I see people that are building it. I'm not sure how they are though. All right. So on this point, we're gonna start going into some ventilation plants, I think. I'm looking around to see if anything else is worth it, but not particularly. I mean, steam sawmills wouldn't be the worst thing either, but I think the th problem with ventilation plants is these need steam cores and I'm all fresh out of steam cores, so I have to start shipping those in now. So I have enough workers at this point, so yeah. We'll do the steam, we'll do the steam sawmills because I'm, I think I'm at the point now where they're becoming an issue. So we can bring another steam core in with a couple of people as well. And what we're also gonna do now after that, do I have people not doing anything? No, nope. it's these guys. Okay, so we're gonna reallocate people to here now these are this is unfortunately 10 people once again one two three four oh they're on strike them they, they, they go immediately on it so uh i guess i'll have to raise it above that all right there you go now they're now they're fine with it i just have to, i just have to move it around they, they're they're very eager to go and and Go on strike. Let's just go with that. You promised to improve safety. There you are. It's because the gas went up, but the gas... Okay, so tomorrow the gas is going to go up again. Did I not improve it above dangerous or what? I guess I need more people. So the factory inspectors report that we need to introduce constant supervision in order to speed up work. The old methods are, are not good enough. We've seen a, uh, enough cases of wastefulness and inefficiency to convince us that all employees would benefit from direct supervision from the engineers. If you put us in charge, motivation will rise and efficiency with it. I'll think about it and let's do it. So we will do that anyway. So we're gonna, it's, it's, it's asking us to sign over overseers as well. I can go get more workers, so let's go do that. Sorry, more engineers, I meant to say. So we can now also remove these medical posts as well to go with it. Is this not doing another one yet, or what? Why is it not doing it? So the factory introspect is... I did improve I can't I can't improve the workplace any more than this is that is that it are they working on it no they're probably not I think I think they just weren't working on it that's my bad 
<laughs> oh well. All right, cargo convoy. Uh, I think they I think they got removed out of it when 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 I didn't have them working on the safe stuff. So I think that's what happened there. I, I didn't realize that. I, I don't promise that a whole often. So uh, the drivers got out of the haulers and got in a circle. They seem to be troubled. Are these yours? It appears that the convoy is heading for Winterhome. That's a long way from here. They are carrying parts crucial for the proper operation of the Winterhome's generator. It seems they lost several crates on the way. Without them, the construction of their generator might be compromised. You can either return the crates or you can keep the resources. So, you know what this means, because that's the whole Winterhome thing. That's the whole, like, the generator failed, the, the guy in charge was a douche, then you became in charge, then you had to load up the Dreadnought, then you had to get rid of it. If you return the crates, obviously you can't change the future because that's exact. It, they don't it, like who says that is the reason the generator failed, but it's heavily implied that is the reason it failed, and it's your fault. <laughs> so uh, there is no reason to return them in this scenario. It doesn't do anything because you can't change that. Uh, it's just a funny little scenario that you know what that means, uh, that you're responsible for. It, so we're gonna keep our resources. Fuck Winter Home. <laughs> that's that's the moral of the story. That's uh, that's what we're all about here. It's, it's just one of those funny things of how that works out. I'm gonna get more people to work on this one too. All right, I'm gonna just try and finish up because I I don't want to get that going. So we have let's see, one day to do overseers. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we do that, we wouldn't be able to... Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do... So this, this is good for... Uh, this one's good for... Uh, what's it called? Uh, for, for motivation if you need it. We do not need motivation. We're perfectly fine on that. Which is a good way of maxing it out later if you, if you need to do that. So we will actually do either after equipment maintenance. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then we'll do we'll do the overseers right after that. Because we, we have to introduce overseers after that. I'm hoping that this will actually work, but it says I promised to improve safety, which I did. I said above dangerous, which is harmful. It's only mere harmful. I mean, come on. All right, steam sawmill over here. And let's see. Charcoal killing? No. Killing, not killing. Sorry. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I can't help it. It's in my nature. Let's see. We can get now the ventilation plant. That, that will work. We are also going to need then if we do that. Upgrade docks over here. I won't bother with the wood at all. We'll just keep this going. These guys are not even doing anything. I'm very disappointed. I just want the workshops to keep going. Oh, okay, good. This one's done. We can just finish that one up and that's it. I'll, right. I just want to get the wood going. We won't bother rebuilding that or doing anything with it. Also, you don't need more than two refor forgers, so we're gonna just keep that also the way it is. All right. Promise safety, sir. You promise not to employ people at this workplace unless it is no longer dangerous. If you break that promise, people will, will go on strike. All right, carry on. Workplace will go on, remain on stuff. I guess it's because it's. Damn it. Because the the thing went up. I guess they they weren't really employed or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to take everybody off of all these things, and I'm going to move them into all these other buildings. This is a time to basically go gather more resources, actually. Because it's, uh, it's right now we're at a three-level toxicity, so... That's what we're going to do instead. So we're not, we're not even going to work on any of these buildings. We could work on this one, though. Transport arrived. We got another steam core and things like that. So this this is one of the things you can do is like it, instead of just like continuously like employing people at places that are just not safe, you can just say like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna just spend this time to basically go get resources instead. So I'm gonna get coal. Yep. Unfortunately, I had clicked something else before that, so get another reloading station. I don't really bother uh, passing upgraded uh, docks uh, also because that just adds another essentially place and I can't collect them that fast as it is. That's really what the issue that you kind of have at this point is. So and this guy's saying Baldu sorry I can't, I'm not saying it right but Badu fuck whatever photography 
Sir, one of the people received a highly passionate letter from a lady friend, together with a highly suggestive photograph. Should we allow this shameless debauchery? Uh, confiscate the picture or leave the picture? If you leave it, two people are going to fight. Uh, just do confiscate the picture. Uh, now we need to do it for serious. All right. Motivation rises. I don't know why that raised motivation, but that is what it is. Nature sculpture, as suspected, the tall rock sculpted by the winds into a shape from a certain angle looks like a standing human. It's useful landmark land nonetheless. nonetheless. All right, we got to go to the field kitchen. Uh, so food, I believe, is doing pretty good. Yeah, this is completely unsafe, but that's fine. I'm not. I'm, we're not working in there right now, so we're doing good on that. Yeah, I accidentally set the wrong thing here, so I want to get coal going. Is there anywhere I can move people from? I don't know. Not right now. All right, so on that note, so machine shop safety improvements would also solve their problem, too. It wouldn't be the worst thing, either. I don't need to do it right now, though. Steam reloading would require me to have more steam cores to, to make them do it faster. It's something we will be doing soon, but not right away. As you've noticed, I've been trying to stockpile a little bit on... Uh, on uh, Steam course as I as I go, so there isn't a whole lot in this scenario. And also, since I'm playing Survivor, there's something which is really shitty that we're going to be doing later that I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, sawmill range, we don't need. I guess I guess we're fine. We can just we can start doing the safety improvements then. It does make it a little bit easier to manage that. God, I hate the fact I did that. We don't we don't need so much food anymore. Uh, we can keep the five working there. We definitely don't need so many here, though. What's it complaining about? No gatherable resources in range? Okay, well, I'll just uh, move them into the food again. I seem to have, like, an odd number of people. That's probably the people I've been sitting over. And we've been... Let's see housing-wise. So we're good. 40, 44 housing, so we can still bring some more people in. So we'll see if tomorrow, if the... The gases go low enough, but we're also doing the research to make it actually more tenable to work there all the time anyway, so. Also, we should do some more engineers. Do the row five. Go ahead. So we can start doing now overseer's towers. Here we go. So this is a lovely building that raises the efficiency of any anywhere anyone that works on it. So this is gonna be placed in the, the, the depths of the generator place over here as well, which is fantastical. Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot of great place to put it. Because I don't really want to have it over here, but probably one over there would be good, because this is... you're raise, Like I said, you're raising the efficiency all, of, of all these buildings. I can't quite get the dock with that. I'm kind of annoyed by that. Maybe we'll do one over here, and then, like, one over here. Because that basically taps into everything. Basically does. You need to make two. Yeah, two overseer stations. And there you go. So workers, as it turns out, don't really like overseers, uh, as you might imagine. Here's a, a field kitchen, no food in this kitchen, although it's must have been used recently. There's still water inside, two large pots inside. It's, a, it's telling about the, uh, the soup situation. Site 107, let's have a look. All right, so we have one overseer station. We'll do this one. And here's another one. All right, Overseer's office is built, and they're manned to keep an eye on the workers. Motivation rises. So, you get a lovely tower here. It's start, we're starting to go full pedo colony, let me tell you that right now. Uh, but you get an option here to say Overseer's will be sent to workplaces to motivate and annoy workers. I also just realized that none of these stations are actually impacting the... They actually have to be in near the generator, too. I, for, I totally forgot about that. I might actually deconstruct this one and put it closer to over here. It's rather unfortunate, but I need to actually do that. It's more important that they are working next to a generator than anywhere else. I'm just trying to debate where, where's the best place for them to go. Yeah, it has to be a little bit down here. How unfortunate. That's actually the most important place for them to be. All right, safety improvements completed. We can actually start employing that again, too. We can also do the other building as well. I mean, we technically don't really need it, though. We could start going into redesign templates or something, but yeah. So 
So gas did not go down. Gases are staying really toxic, so... But we can do this now. We can employ people here. I'm just debating where to divert them from. Probably the coal. We need actually more workers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get more workers the next time I get the chance. Yeah, we only need three more. Yeah, because this, this is, there's no matter, no matter what, I cannot get this to be because it's three from toxic gases. I mean, it would, it would get lowered by this. I think. Let's see. It's, it's dangerous. Uh, how far are we? Done? Yeah, we're at like seventy-six percent. I would like to get it to, to finish, but. There's going to be a lot of people that are not going to be happy. Also, I just realized I had like 20 people in here that shouldn't have been there. Accident avoided. Yeah, I'm debating here. I think dangerous is not a good idea. I guess we're about to find out. Alright, transport arrived. We have another steam core as well. Let's get some more people in. We need more people. So, uh, I, I don't normally, like, for this building, I don't normally need to put more than two pe one or two people in. I feel like two people kind of, for the most part, does finish, like, the any layers that we have that we kind of need them to go work in, so. Uh, here we go, there's one here, one here. I Very unfortunate that they're not working over here, but... We can also go make them work more efficiently with the Overseer Station. That's ten food rations to go annoy them, but I think the strike risk is is kind of a problem, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. And the disease. A group of our people decries your decision to carry on the forced medical examination of prostitutes. There you go. That that was what I kind of did there, but I, like I said, I chose the gameplay one. It's just a game, like I said. Uh, moral ethics aside, I'm not going to get into that, but we'll see. You punish the victims of vice. Uh, a vice and the, and the men guilty of both vice and suffering of these women go unpunished. This has to end. Shut down the public uh, house of pleasure. Again, it's just a game. I'm not... <laughs> obviously, it's supposed to pull out the strings. It's calling you out for making a really shit decision. Uh, so you can say it will no longer raise motivation. Motivation will fall or we can't afford it because we're, you know, motivation. Come on. We need that. All right. Uh, I guess I need another overseer's uh, uh, overseer's place. I I did not structure these in a fantastic way. Let me. I will be the first to admit that. So I guess I will have to put one over there. But we're gonna need more people for that. So. Oh wait, there's someone here. Okay, cool. So site 107, we have structural profiles, steam exchangers, survivors, and steam cores. There are people here uh, packing their belongings and preparing a dozens of coffins for transport. A young engineer approaches us. Oh, last autumn. Site 107, I told him so. The young engineer who introduced herself as Effie M uh, McLaughlin is re relieved to see us. I'm glad you came. We are to be uh, we are to be evacuated. But you can't be sure in these times, she says. She tells us what happened. Long story short, the core of their generator exploded after a fire broke out in the final stages of construction. Effie says she saw the tragedy coming, but no one listened to her. The youngest engineer on site. She said some uh, some friends are not giving up. They want to use their experience to help finish our generator. Uh, so we can either take them to our camp or we just take the resources. So we'll take the engineers back because we kind of need them. So so Forgers will bring a few engineers and some resources to our camp and that's it. So they're coming back. That's what I came up there for. So that's a hefty amount of resources that we are going to use for our own generator construction. It's going to come in handy. Fortunately, we do have high strike risk, but I think it's because it shifted around a little bit, so. Um, so with that one that we have, we can actually make a ventilation plant now, so we can go toss that down, let's say over here. I don't normally, I think, need more than two, but then again, I, I don't know if we will need more than that this, this uh, time, so I'm going to start shuffling some people around. We got an extra person somewhere available. There we go. We have a steam work mill and safety improvements research. There we are. So there's some lovely things here. We can use an additional venting plant, or we can use 15% less coal in the in the plant. So what that does is, when we make it, we made it here. It will burn coal uh, to make it safer to work in the generator. We can actually sit, switch the arrows to sync up with the uh, pressure valves if we want to. Because that is a very dangerous place to work. But you need a bunch of coal stockpiled for it, so... So I'll, I'll turn it on. It's going to use 200 uh, coal a day. And we only make, like, uh... Well, we don't... I think I think it'll tell us what it, we roughly make. So it's like, uh, coal is... Yeah, there you go. We'll have enough. 
He doesn't need to be manned by anyone, which is really good, but yeah, it is still a bit of an issue. So generator-wise, we're doing, we're four days ahead of schedule for the foundations, uh, so we have the other projects as well to do on top of that, which we, as soon as we finish these two, um, we may not even need these two steam exchangers because they're coming in hot to basically give us whatever we need. So again, factory, factory introspect, I, I just love it, it's really good. So motivation's a little bit on the fence right now, but we're, we're we're still doing hearty meals. It's going up and down. Daily loss concerning. So it looks like that one's done, so we can put everybody onto some other buildings as well. Let's go move some people around. What I'll do is I'll, I'll make a few more than that, because it what, what it does is it stockpiles some more for me. Why are you on strike? It's, it was safe. They're angry and refuse to work. They chat about exploitation. <laughs> so, the, the workplace will remain closed until the next day of demands by Escalate, trying to appease them with extra rations. Uh, the this cadet will rise greatly, demands by Escalate. Uh, they may also, they again, this is what it kind of does. It's really dumb. It's just like, I put five people in there and they got angry and there was no reason for them to get mad about it. So I'll just say, I'm gonna offer them a day off because was, I just put five people in there. They reject your offer. After a short and heated discussion, they reject your offer. Such scraps are for your lapdogs, you fat bloodsucker. When the emotions subside, I'm not sure why the engineer is over there. Is he on the other side? He's supposed to be on my side. I just realized he's in the picture there. That's hilarious. Uh, he's, <laughs> I'll show you why that's funny, but remember his face, all right? So we could say, uh, uh, you can either give him the full uh, uh, full day off, triple triple rations are end negotiations. I'm just giving them a full day off, it's fine. Um, you can't take the people out, but I only put five people into it, that, which is why I didn't care and I did that. Alright, we got some more people that just came in. Let's see. That's I'm like, I'm like, why is he there? <laughs> he shouldn't be there. Buddy, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> just, I don't know. Uh, we'll have our forgers maybe move faster. I'm just looking if there's anything else. Steam reloading station would be the worst thing to get, but we don't actually need resources right now, so we're good. Let's get some forger stations. I do find that kind of funny. Alright, I think it did finish. There we go. So, let's go get our... Tower... Oh, no, we need 10 heat exchangers. Never mind, I was wrong. Alright, new law. Let's have a look. So, we have cut... So, we just got to... Where is it at? So I'll show you what's next in the... Is it labor? Here we are. So we just got to the, here. We got security outposts. Uh, so this gets a little bit more... Uh, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit dark here. Uh, so uh, security outposts, upgraded station. It will it will lower discontent nearby workplace. So you have to build two security outposts. I'm down for that. New rules in uh, let's get these all going. And since we now have the factory introspect, I have some unemployed workers. We will internal promotion them. There we go. All right, so there we go. We got a better tower now. So we can also increase the motivation, but I'd rather do that when it's actually building stuff. So security outpost built, all good. Do we have 10 valves? No, we just need one more. I'm just gonna 24 hour it. Actually, let's... Uh there we go. All right, so we got our engineers, a bunch of our profiles and things like that. We'll just let this last one finish here. All right, so the next place to go is a small waterfall over here. So let's go hop over there. And that's why I said you only really need two foragers kind of going around. So that's uh, the name of the game at this point is just to have them kind of like scouting around, seeing what's around. So one person to scout, one person to give us food. All right, so here's our tower pumps. They are not a huge fan of this. I think it's, yeah, it's already basically worked on. That's why they're not happy. All right, move these guys out. The thing is, we should be able to work this 24 hours. And I, I'm going to try to do that. Let's get, let's get that go. Let's get this out. Yep, oh, sorry. Okay, if we do that, the factory introspect should go to that. Yeah, so we made it into harmful. Uh, the, the gases will go down tomorrow as well. So we can actually remove that as well. So... We can now reallocate everybody to work on this and get this out ASAP. We don't need steel as much anymore either. So again, this is this is where I talk about like the the, the reallocation of people onto onto key generator components. So it's the the 
the conditions are ideal right now to to kind of do this and so you have like the the little coal thing going and they'll they'll do their thing so but if i if i look at right now the coal usage it's actually gonna go down so that's where like you know getting the that's why i got efficient fans and then you can get another ventilation plant but it's reducing it by one level effectively what the ventilation is doing so you can see it's a negative one right there but again base safety level and all that is just uh yeah it's what are you gonna do right I definitely want to get some more better reloading stations, though. So, where are we at? We can get one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, I actually have plenty of engineers now. All right, we no longer have a problem with engineers. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. More research, faster, pretty good. And I think I want to upgrade the, as I want to upgrade the reloading stations. So what we're going to do is we're going to get more cores. A couple more workers to go. So that's what I'm going to start doing is every time I'm going to bring some pores over. Rumble in the deep. Sir, so people working in the deepest part of the shaft report rumbling sounds and slight tremors coming from below. They complain about getting dizzy from toxic fumes coming through the cracks. We might be forced to evacuate them quickly in case of emergency. To do this, we need safety equipment for both the rescuers and the shaft crew. It will also protect the workers from fumes, improving workplace safety. Shall we start making it? So. For, f for five uh, steam exchangers, we can do plus one, which is safety equipment. You can remind us later, or we'll manage without it. Uh, anytime you get an option to make safety equipment, absolutely 100% do it. So with that, it actually lowered, uh, raised the, the efficiency enough that I can have it going all the time now. Order carts researched. All right, I think I have to start working on foundry, but I'm not sure. Let's look at the next stage of the generator, what it needs. So it's always good to plan the next start. So there's steel composites and a lot, lots of structural profiles. So that will be actually part of it then. You make the composites at the foundry is where we make it at. So we'll start that going. We do have one steam core available for that. So as soon as the gases fall tomorrow, I'm gonna to just turn off the ventilation plant because we don't actually need it. Due to high motivation, workplace efficiency increases. So, yeah, so there, the, there is accidents that will happen. So this one, I believe, happens at about 60%. So we should get the, the accident today. But we already did the, yeah, there it is. 50% <laughs> about there. That's what I expected. Who called it? So the first one's about 60%. Second one's about 50%. And there's one after that that's about i think about 40 percent we'll go to that the source is exposed sir there's a catastrophic accident in the lower levels a cave-in exposed the underground heat source engulfing the people in our people in deadly fumes we can seal the source off to save them although they will permanently reduce the power available to the generator if you leave it but if we leave it open all the people underground will die now i love this part of this uh because you get the choice here to seal off the source. So it says the generator won't be able to power more than a few heat zones. Uh, workers will uh, will evacuate safely. The construction will stop after six hours. You could imagine, though, that like this is what the the winter home uh, construction team had to deal with, right? And they probably thought the same thing, like, oh, this is just a cold snap, right? We're not going to ever use these generators anyways. Who? Can Why would we kill people, right? But it's one of those funny things where like their decision to maybe save the lives of like what like 10 people or something whatever would be the issue here may have doomed literally the entirety of winter home right and so you know what this means but like in, in the universe right eh, people probably don't know what it means as much and like really you're gonna sacrifice lives to just power a couple heat zones because if you say like if you do that, then like you're like, okay, it's a it's a shit generator, but like, what? Who cares? Like, just let someone else deal with it. We probably won't even need it. There's there's probably no ice age coming. Who cares, right? And that's what I like about this because you you as a player know that this is extremely important, you know, to the survival of like the, the those people. But you know, they may not as much, and you know, maybe and like I said, that winter home construction team probably said seal off the source. Who cares? Oh, you're missing a couple parts. Whatever. It's fine. We're never going to use this thing anyways, but yeah. So you can either seal off the source, which you don't want to do. Leave the source open. Uh, the general will have normal power. All workers underground will die. The discontent will graze greatly. Strike risk will rise greatly. Or send the rescue with the safety equipment. 
which is uh, general on normal power. Many workers will be gravely injured. The construction site will work for uh, stop for three hours. And then you can also use escape rooms. Which is, so whenever you get this last option, it has to be safe. This is only really possible on like the easier difficulties, but we're gonna just use the, the safety equipment. And so nobody's gonna be working on this right now. That's fine. Investments in workplace safety saved off, and that's it. So we can just shut off the ventilation plant since we're not using it anyways. All right, finally re researched, and we're gonna do innovative process to make it a little bit better. How much are those people gonna be on strike for? It's just five people I can't use. It's great. All right, I'm gonna throw that down. So it is what it is. They're gonna do whatever they want to do. Uh, we have no one working at that place. We kind of need people to work there. Uh, we have also no materials over there. We need more coal as well. I'll uh, put some people to bring in coal. That's why I said like it's great to just like move people around. It's just great to use it for that. So let's look. Successful evacuation, sir. We have great news. All workers were rescued, but the source remains open. Some of our people uh, and and the source remains open. Some of our people were hurt. A few of them seriously, but if we provide them proper medical care, they will live. Uh, when we finish this generator, it will achieve its full power uh, uh, power heating. Well done. Some of our workers were hurt. The generator will achieve its full heating power. So it, this one did not set back uh, the work at all. There was uh, what is it? Uh, that's that's eight people that were essentially wounded. They're they're also amputees uh, as well to go with that. So that's an important thing as well. A lot of people are are injured in, in care right now, which is fine. Uh, it looks like this guy's done. Small waterfall. There are fish jumping in the waterfall. Perhaps enough of a meal for the team. Perhaps we'll find more upstream. So there's some rapids here. So we can send forgers here. And this guy I will send to that one, but I'll send him over here first because it's uh, on the way. So I, I don't know, I, I kind of like that that part of this scenario kind of thing. Uh, let's go turn on the ventilation shaft. I need to get some more people into that as well. Oh, we don't need anyone on that anymore. So luckily they're happy about it, that's all good. Too much oversight, a, a group of workers comes to complain about the constant surveillance. I'm, I'm doing my best boss, believe me, says an experienced uh, fitter, but I feel like a criminal with all these overseers watching over my shoulder. Show us you trust us, get rid of at least one security outpost. We say, at, at, of course, dismantle one or strike risk will rise. So if you dismantle one and then rebuild it immediately, they'll get even more pissed. Um, or you could do, I can't afford it. I could I could just get rid of one of them, and I, I guess I'll just dismantle one. I'll, I'll dismantle one right now, and then, but this one I will I will make into Overseer's Inspection. Because that one's actually not as important. Uh, I mean, the steel is nice, but, you know. But, you know, that efficiency is good. You see, high motivation and things like that, it's good. Although I'm not sure what the, there you go, Surveillance Society promise fulfilled. So I think I have to wait a little bit before I remake it. But we're having it work 24 hours. You know, I think it's bugged right now because I don't... Oh, it's 15% due to that. No, it's supposed to be plus 20%. Oh, I guess I guess it's the, the outpost is plus 20% is how it works. No, that's not how it works. You know, I'm going to say it's bugged because I don't think it's supposed to... I don't think it's supposed to work that way. Speaking of motivation, we should get that going a little bit more too. All right, let's get this guy going to the rock arch. But we're going to start going down the laws to make it a little bit easier to deal with some of the stuff. Let's see. All right, so we got innovative processes completed. All good. And with that being said, let's see. Anything else in this tier? I don't think so. Uh, Steamer loading station, actually. Let's might as well get that out of the way. Because we're actually, th this thing is completely out now. So I need to, I need to kind of get that. We do have a bit, I think it's, yeah, okay. It, it, just, it was just full, so we can actually move it over, there, over to the other one. The rapids. Here, close to the source, the stream is narrow and wild. We follow it, walking along the edge of a gorge. And there's a mountain lake over here. We do have eight amputees, unfortunately, but they're just, like, hanging out. We got some workers, another steam core. Uh, apparently these guys might... Uh, well, it's it's fine. Dude, how long are you gonna be in fucking... You give everybody a day off? What is it, like, ten days off? Like, Jesus. <laughs> part of the generator. With the foundation in place, it's time to build the fire... Build the fiery part of the... Uh, 
part of the generator called a core. You will, it will have to be enclosed within two support frames, which will hold up external parts of the generator. Now, normally I would just build the, uh, what's it called? The, the support frame, but I can't because they're constantly in that building. I might just de reconstruct it actually. I'll give them another day to deal with it, but yeah. All right, let's build some more steel, steel comms sets. Or not, because we need coal for that, Never mind. Okay, I'm not waiting for them anymore. I'm just going to reconstruct it. <laughs> That's what you get. Profiles manufacturer. It's like the cheapest thing to, to rebuild, so. All right. Site 120. Great work on laying down the generous foundations. You're making good time. Down here, the bad weather and crop fail uh, failures prompted an exodus to the colonies. Those who stayed in their place in their hopes that the government's newly unveiled ex uh, evacuation plan. Our, 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 our company was accused of profiteering by opposition po politicians. Pure slander, of course. Unfortunately, we lost contact with Site-120. We were uh, we were attaching their coordinates, and we would appreciate if you would spare a few minutes to go check up on them. We'll do our best. We actually kind of do want to look at that, though. They're right over there, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to divert them this way. Actually, I'll send them back to the rapids, and I'll send them over there. We actually do want to go to the workers' camp. I don't think we need food right now, do we? Yeah, we're kind of good on food. I mean, I'm making them make food. It's it, It'll last a little while, so it should be okay. I do need to get that going, and we'll find, we'll likely find food along the way, so. Get some more engineers. Alright, waiting. Rock arch, move on. And there's a closed tavern. Hard to believe our eyes, but there's a closed tavern over here. Alright, and we're gonna send them to the workers' camp. Uh, we have a lot of wound sick people here, so let's go get just a regular medical outpost. Because we could deal with the sick, it's we're fine. Alright, get people into this. Let's go make our structural profiles. There we go. I hope that I got all the wood back. I may not have, I just realized when I deconstructed it. Is that a thing that happens? I'm actually not sure. I may I may have just uh, deleted a bunch of wood I didn't intend to. Anyways. We should also get another upgrade docks over here too. And let's get this one going too. 24 hours. I just realized that because I had something in there before, right? I think I deleted my wood by accident. I, did, I, I was just, I was, I was sick of waiting for those workers, and then I totally forgot about that. That's fantastic. No, I'm trying to get to upgrade. We don't have any more wood, though, right now. We can get another ste uh, sawmill. Steam, steam sawmill would be the best one to do. I need more, more sawmill action going on here, so... Well, that's one of those things, if you get a bug, you have to kind of just deal with it, so... Alright, alright. Alright, we got some food rations at the closed tavern. Uh, looks, looks, door says, Polestar Le Tour Polaire. Second name is in French. Good old times. The, ca the tavern isn't abandoned after all. A, r a rotund man is bustling about, hefting crates on the, uh, uh, and trunks on a sledge. He introduces himself as the owner of this fine establishment. While the French were around, I had patrons all day long. Workers cur uh, curing over hangovers with breakfast. Engineers drinking buckets of coffee over maps and blueprints in the evening. All together working uh, hard uh, on the next to hangover. All of them chatting in bloody French. Now it's over. Take whatever you need. I'm leaving for good. Three grades. So they give you 55 rations and that's it. So we go to three. Gr oh, there's actually. Yeah, that's that one's fine. So I thought I that, that was a new one. I thought I only had one. End of a world. Sir, an engineer received a letter from relatives in India. So remember, uh, India is in the Asian Nerds, a British colony. They explain a sudden frost devastated their plantation, and they're going back to England, as the colony is descending into chaos and the population is rising up against the British rule. Surely we cannot let such imp information impact the morale of our people. So you can censor the letter or don't censor it. We're going to censor it. All right, so we got some stuff here. So we got a couple of things here. Do you remember the guy who was striking? <laughs> oh, he's actually not in the picture here, but he has strike busting. I assume that's him. 
But I'm like, why is he in the strike busting? Now he's got the gun here. So you get a strike busting option uh, here for a law. So this is where it starts to get really, as you see, it gets really dark as you go up here. Uh, but uh, each ra use you raise a disc of death, people will be hurt. Now, something it doesn't tell you about the strike busting is that uh, as you use strike busting more and more, uh, the the workers become more prepared every time you use it. Because if you use it too much, they are aware of the tactics and then people start dying, if not already from the first time you use strike busting. Uh, you have penal quality, is where you start going into getting a new social class of convicts, but we have enough workers to be honest, so we don't really need it. But they only work when they supervise, so that's what the, the giant towers are for. Uh, if you do go down this route, there is a ratio of penal colonies to uh, to basically uh, engineer towers uh, or overseers towers or, or security outposts, what, sorry, whatever they're called. Um, but you, eff you effectively need a one-to-one. -one. So for every penal colony you make, which houses 25 convicts, you need one overseer's tower. And that's, that's the way the math works for that. So... Uh, we won't bother with that. I won't bother with it. And then there's class segregation. Our best employees deserve the best accommodations. We will provide housing with uh, engineers with special separate living quarters. So you get engineers' lodgings, and uh, they in the lodgings they have higher motivation, but you have to build it for all the engineers is what you have to do to get the bonus effectively. Um, we could go first into here. I kind of want to get rid of, um, do some care house stuff. So nobody died yet, but... We want to do that. Either that or bare knuckle bats, but I think my discontent is okay, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. So, the care house is good to wait until later because you get a. M my motivation is already falling here pretty substantially. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the care house just somewhere in the corner. It doesn't matter where you put it, just put it somewhere out of the way. I just realized there's a, like a lack of a road here. I don't know, it's just, they just haven't built it yet. So workers camp survivors. Dungeon workers eye, eye suspiciously as we approach. They're pitiful sight, starving and dressed in rags that don't cover their injuries. Explore. So there is workers that tell us about site uh, 120 where they toiled in inhumane conditions under slave driving boss until they had enough and ran away one night. They beg us not to betray them if we visit their site. They're starved and half of them are sick. They won't survive alone in the wilderness. So we could leave them, lead them to our camp or tell them to stay put. So we can uh, we can bring them back. It's 50 workers for me, so uh, I'm I'm down for that. That's why I did that right away. Need more profile manufacturers though. So we got that done. I really need another steam core though. Well, I guess I'll just make do with what I got for now. I may not need any more workers for the time being. Let's just do that one. So I'm, I'm gonna avoid doing workers for a little bit here. We're lacking a little bit in uh, wood at the moment, and I'm trying to get more of it, so. Where's my steam reloader? Well, we have the steam reloaders. I, I, I will just have to rebuild the, the stations when I get down to it. All right, so we built the care house. So they're just gonna live in here. There's seven inhabitants. Uh, they're, they're the amputees from the original one, so. They didn't technically die, so can't tell me that they died, because they, they didn't. They're, they're alive, live and well. I'm gonna put some more people into getting some more wood here. Uh, is there anyone else? Where are all the workers employed at right now? 21 in there, 15. So I'm trying to get as many of the steam mills going. This one doesn't have enough space for it. Well, that's a shame. That would explain a lot of where they're there. Apparently these guys are gonna go eat or whatever. It's like, come on, do, the, do your job. I'm trying to get more ships and everything going, so... Alright, there we go. 50 more people came in. Oh, excellent. 50 more f mouths to feed. And they're starving and all that kind of fun stuff, so... <laughs> fun stuff, I say. Alright, we can go check out the collapsed mine. Let's go check out that. They they begged me not to betray them if I go there, so that's a, a thing that we have to kind of look out for. And we need some more tents. Unfortunately, not a lot of space for it. We may have to go start putting them into another location. I'm not sure where to put... Maybe I'll start putting them over here. One, two, three. Because uh, I need a chapel for it, too. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure it's... Uh... Yeah, there we go. That's fine. 
I just want to make absolutely sure that they're fine. There we go. We can even hook it up so it's really efficient for them to get around there. Three graves. These dots turned out to be graves. The head headstones read Lob, Pl Proloff, and B Below. Who were they? Were they buried? Uh, why were they buried in such a remote place? We'll never know. So we either get a storehouse or a railroad track. We will go roll the dice now and go right to the storehouse. I love rolling dice. And we have enough, yeah, we have the food basically coming in, the efficiency for the harbor. Actually, I could get all these people to do that. So yeah, they're, they're a little bit sick here, so I'm, I'm just trying to get them out. I forgot I made that. I'm trying not to get them to be in palliative care, so, or whatever. So workers camp, we can go to collapse mine. Now, unfortunately, I'm playing on survivor mode, and you're about to see <laughs> the lovely world of what I have to deal with. Yeah, we can also get some steam composites going. Because we have, we have coal, too, and we can also get that going, too. Yeah, we have a lot of people now. Just because I can just shuffle everybody around wherever I want to. We need more steel again. We have also one engineer available here. Also, some people missing from there. Why are they not over there? I don't know why there's so many hungry people. We only have 268 people. They should just go get food. I'm trying to get two meals, I swear. All right, here we go, storehouse. I'm going to have to deal with that. So I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, but the store is filled with crates used for to transport steam cores dozens of them enough to power an entire fleet of dreadnoughts most of the crates are empty explore steam core s'il vous plaît the store the sign over the entrance says uh M minister la de marine de colonies entropy of four it's not surprising that the other nations also seek refuge in the north uh but the scale of the operation is astounding so this, this is like french generated building so it's like all the rich uh, all the rich countries did make their own generator stations is one of the plans. Uh, British had the most because they were the wealthiest country. Uh, but an ancient sto uh, short, uh, shop uh, storekeeper opens a big ledger at our site. The old man apparently took us for Fr uh, took us for French engineers. Bonjour, messieurs. I'm not going to talk French, but uh, he's like, sign here if you want something, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're talking about the the Cri Niage. It's a, it's a name of something we'll see in a bit. He seems to offer us a shipment of cores. What the heck is a Cri Niage? Not in signed papers, which we could lose the scouts when we get two steam cores, or we don't won't get any steam cores. Roll the dice. Yeah, we got it. Fuck yes. I was about to say we lost we lost the game. Okay, we got it. We got the steam cores. My God, let's send this back. This is the that's like forty logistical. Uh, of stuff i need this so i'm bringing it back he only had like some food on him so i'm like even if he died i wouldn't have been like that sad oh look, look how dark this is starting to get uh they're uh, a little bit armed now all right so on this one here we just did care house and i'm gonna go all the way down into this one so there's two lovely options here we have prosthesis shipments which we will uh return our amputees to work by ordering prosthesis for them uh you can now order so you cannot build your own prosthesis you have to order them and London will send them to you. Uh, but the amputees will be fitted with them and will be able to work again, or else medical reparation. Uh, those who can't work will be sent back to London in the care of their families. Which is a uh, free space that won't be a problem here, blah, blah, blah. Um, the thing they don't tell you about this one, about the, the prosthesis, is it costs three logistical efficiency to bring in a single prosthesis to make an amputee able to work again. Um, so no, just ship them back and if you want more workers, get more workers. I know evil's hell, but, uh, that's what we're doing. It doesn't lower motivation or anything, so. So we can, every three days we can send people out, and, uh, I'm sending them back and they're going like, No, please don't let us go. As you watch the amputees packing for the, their, their meager belongings that belong, um, that before uh, sent, being sent home, one of them approaches you. Sir, if I'm sent back, the company will stop paying me. I've never had to beg in my life. But I can't let my kids starve. Please don't let us go. I lost my hand during my job that that you gave me. Uh, is this not worth? Is this worth nothing? We're not a charity, or you can stay. So they will stay, but we're gonna say we're not a charity. So I'm just gonna rise slightly. They could go become video game streamers. It's fine. 
I'm gonna e-big online. All right, so that's that's pretty much all we want to do with that. Oh, we can now start doing more profile manufacturers. How many do we need for this? I think it was like 50, right? Yep, we need 50 structural profiles, so let's get this going 100%. And we'll also make it go faster, too. Let's see. We, we need more steel than anything, and also some coal, too. I hope I'm doing the coal. I should be doing the coal, right? Did I do the research? I did. Okay, so... Sawmill extension is what I would like to do, but I don't think I can right now. I think we may have to wait on the research. I don't know. Our research is w way too efficient. Collapse mine. It's a coal mine, but it's been evacuated after collapse. Move on. We have Site 120. So we can go check out what happened. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get at least the structural profiles done. But I have a lot of things I want to do. Oh, this is not hooked up yet. That's fine. I can hook it up there. All right. Off of the gloves, sir. A group of senior pro uh, overseers is here to talk to you about dealing with the pro worker protest. Life depends upon us finishing generating our time, yet the workers keep striking. Why are you putting up with us? We have guns. Just give us the order. We'll put a swift end to all this tomfoolery. I'll think about it or let's do it. I'm going to just say I'm not going to do it. I don't think I, I don't really need it. Or maybe I do need it because the founder just went on strike. All right. Let's see. I will raise the working conditions. That's easy to do. There you go. I'm actually surprised it was even like that to begin with. Oh, uh, I guess the gas is pretty high, that's why. Well, I wanna I wanna keep these going, so. We have now two, let's see, support frame one. And if we kinda have a look, we're five days ahead of schedule. So, so we're still doing really good actually in this scenario. Which is really nice. Do I have a steam core? Let's see. Another steam core and some more workers. I'm not sure how many more steam cores we will need. Oh, well, we're bringing two back as well. Okay, here's the steam core that we, we just ordered in. I'm going to wait on the research just because I want to... I figure it's a good investment to do steam reloading station here. Twenty four hours for that. I'm surprised I just have so many people not doing anything. I'm going to move these people around a little bit. I need more steel. All right, structural profiles at the Site-120. It, it This place eerily resembles our own camp. It's destroyed by fire and riots. It seems their gener was nearly, nearly completed before it blew up. So it goes, and these are starting to get really snowy, which is really funny, uh, but yeah. So Site-120 has been destroyed by a violent rebellion. Unburied bodies lie everywhere. We found no survivors. Peeking into the generator pit, we saw even more bodies scattered at the bottom. Judging by the clothes, most of the victims were engineers. Um, all the buildings were ruin, uh, are in ruin, gutted by fire or wrecked on purpose. We'll gather whatever supplies we can find and leave this terrible place. I'm kind of interested to know if, I, I actually don't remember, but does it swap if you go the other way? Like, uh, so if you were workers, would most of the bodies be workers uh, or, or I don't know what it is, but like this is, actually no, it wouldn't be because it would be like, this is a class warfare kind of stuff that it's talking about. So we'll take the resources that it has. We'll go to Snowy Hills. I don't think that will take that long. I'm mostly just trying to bring the resources back. There we go. Working all the time. Let's do one other steam reloading station, which we need a bit more... Oh, we need more steam cores. That's what we need. I'm going to bring two ones here. I, I'm not sure if I will need more workers than that, but we do have a lot of workers around. Spreading anxiety. Sir, the people re we rescue for the workers' camp, those who fled who uh, from the failed worker uh, generator site, are unhappy with life in our camp. They complain about their workplace uh, workplace safety and overtime. They call work humane, uh, conditions inhumane. They claim our camp resembles their own too much. What's worse is people listen to them and grow anxious. Either ignore them or beat some sense into them. So I'll just ignore them. I'm whining. All right. And let's see. I want to do... Yeah, I'll do that upgrade there. 
<laughs> beat some sense into them. Our last hope. Thank you for investigating Site 120. We're sorry to hear about their fate. Surely the workers you took in must know more than they are letting on. We strongly suspect that there are subversive elements that are hiding among them and urge you to keep an eye out for dangerous uh, uh, syndicalists. According, according to reports all over the globe, cooling shows no sign of slowing down. With the other generator projects scrapped, your site is now Liverpool's last hope. If the evacuation becomes necessary, you can count on us. I have an engineer that I'm just not using right now, so I'm going to rearrange some of this. Uh, sure. And we can get some more structural profiles. We'll have to make some of these composites as well, but there's no rush on that, as long as this is going still. Yep. These steam workshops are, are amazing. Though. They, they are like double, doubly as efficient. They're so good. That's why I love them. And we don't need this one here anymore. So I'm going to actually just take workers off this and just completely employ it with uh, workers now. Or sorry, engineers now, because I can easily just move these around too. All right, so this guy's here for Snowy Hills. He has a wooden heel. We followed the fugitives into the foothills, but we lost the trail here. The freshly fallen snow has all the covered the footprints. Let's have a look. Abandoned burden. Searching the area, we found some resources scattered around. The fugitives must have left all inessential supplies to behind the lo lighten their load before entering the hills. There's no telling what happened to them, but considering the remoteness of this land and their harsh climate, they're likely to die of starvation exposure before finding help. So we got some wooden steel, which is good. We, de we do need those. We'll make him ship it back. Uh, they're apparently gonna. St well, they're not gonna strike because I'm not letting them do it. Do it anymore. How much more? We just need three more of these, and then I can start putting them onto this building. All right. So this guy, I'm gonna send back out to. Actually, I'm gonna send him to the food. I do need to start working on this though. Where's, uh, where's some people? Let's see. Not this guy. So, engineer, yeah, this thing should... Oh, come on, don't strike. Oh, right, it's it's fully gas, that's why. Uh, let's just turn it off. Yeah, very high strike risk. Sorry, never mind. It's, it's full gas today, so... We don't need any more of that, so let's do this one right now. Oh man. Okay, we need another we need another ventilation shaft, I guess. Let's uh throw them into here. Uh we have one more ventilation shaft for us building that. We have another support frame we could build as well. Ventilation plant requires fifty steel though, and one steam core and did I not do the research for that? I may not have. Yeah, we need the other one for that, so let's let's get that going. I really don't need anybody in that one, though. Are they all going now? Let's see. It's regular work day, yeah. Well, fuck, they're on strike again. <laughs> uh, so, offer them a day off, uh, which is... It will remain closed until next day. It demands by Escalate. We can give them food, we can give them double food, so... Let's say... Let's say we'll appease them with extra rations. Okay, they're, they're cool with that. All good. Yeah, we don't need this one, though. I was just doing it because I wanted them to... work on this building instead. Actually, I kind of want them to work on the, the generator parts, actually. One second. Can you work on this instead? Yeah, it's only it's only merely dangerous, who cares? Alright. Let's put some people into this one as well. Oh, because this this work this turned off. Okay. We'll have to we'll have to do it the next day. I, I need I need to get the generator going because we're now uh we kinda wasted a couple days, I think, of time, so. And we'll go to the mountains lake to get some more food. How's our food doing? Yeah, we got a little bit left, but yeah, not that much either. Is there like an advanced fishing harbor? I forget. Yeah, there is. So I gotta I gotta start thinking about going to that one. Alright, they brought some stuff back. 
Sorry, this is this is like this is getting rather complicated. The order of things I'm doing here. So, we're gonna head to the three graves to do the rest of this uh, track over up here. Guess that guy could be wherever. All right. So after that, I'm gonna go straight into. We don't need. By the way, do you, you really don't need additional forgers? I'm very serious about that. You absolutely do not. There's nothing really here that we need anymore after this point. Um, we've actually done everything. The the kiln will come, in, I'm sure, at some later point. It's a good way of getting coal if you want it, really, but yeah, we don't need it. Uh, let's see. We need to do... Where is it up? We need to start re re removing moving people around, so... Let's get a steamer loading station here, and as well as up there. I actually should have had those built to begin with. And there's a ventilation. So I don't typically make more than two ventilation because I feel like that the, the, the requirements of the resources just gets too high. So, all right, we'll see how next day is. Mountain lake. All right, good fishing spot. Even even from the shore, we can see shoals of fish uh, roaming the lake. We can stay here for a few days and catch them. Nice. So we can once again. Just set up camp, send the food back. Suddenly our food now is back to normal. There it is. Uh, one of the things we may have to also look at doing is... So at the moment, our motivation is kind of in the medium, so... Not doing well. We're trying to now more stave off the motivation problems at this point. Because if it gets low, there it's minus 30. I'm trying to rush out generator parts now, so... Alright, and I'm going to shuffle some people around to go get some more steel. They're all in there. I want to make this work 24 hours, though, for sure. These guys are all working. I'll probably, in the next day, when it goes down by one level, I'll see how much I need, and then I'll see if I have to lower by another level, so... Um, alright, so we'll do bare knuckle bouts, and that pretty much finishes everything in that tree. We shouldn't need to do anything else. Why is someone starving? I guess we do need the food. The other thing is they just they simply just may not make food fast enough is the other problem. Well, what we'll, we'll do is I'll I'll temporarily just put it up here. All right, we got difference engine now. So again, we have redesigned templates. Not a bad one to get. Um, advanced harbor would not also not be bad. You can also make it so that the infirmaries heal people faster. Also not a bad option. On top of that. Gathering optimization, reloading stations will become more efficient. Also a pretty good one, too. Uh, I'm kind of... I think I'm good on food now. Maybe I'm not. I, just in case, we could do food, because I did notice it was still a little bit wonky. Yeah, they're not a fan of this one over here. So, we can actually remove this. Well, I can... What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to keep it like this. And I'm going to have these ventilation towers going all the time. And we certainly don't need this anymore. We don't need we don't need workplace safety in the in the in the building that's right next to it. So railroad track, we'll send him over there. I'm gonna move this guy back to Hardy Meals because that's about to come in. So anyone that's hungry will get their food. I just wanted to do it for a little bit of them. Uh, let's see, coal is good, I believe. We gotta we gotta just make sure the coal's okay. We may need to make another one for this other pile. That's why I did make it a, a fish, uh, the next level, the, the up, upper tier one. You notice I'm not really using the, the internal promotion anymore, but I'm just, I, I don't really need it because we actually do get most of it, but I don't know. Making these more efficient wouldn't be the worst thing, but the thing is we just don't need a lot of these guys, so. Because it's like 115 versus 100. I mean, it's kind of nice, but I guess we could go get it going. We could, we could do that, just to just to raise that little efficiency. But really, we have it on the core buildings, right? Now, mind you, the people may not be entirely happy with me doing this. But I don't believe it's supposed to be something that just stays around forever, that, and they'll just be unhappy when you when you do that kind of thing. There you go. Thankless bastards. Sir, the workers you selflessly decide to rescue uh, talk to our people into going on strike. They, they now demand safe working conditions, shorter working hours, and healthier food. Better accommodation for a good salary. There's absolutely no way we can satisfy those demands. What should we do? Use lethal force to, to pacify them. 
Uh, which some may die or let them strike. So, again, we want to change we want it now. Arm them day off, a piece with extra rations, or a piece with double rations. We'll try extra rations. Eh, yeah, they're good. The thing is, there's no reason for them to do that. It's just like, it's just part of the, the thing. Oh god, they're all going on strike. Better working conditions. Did it just run out of fuel, or what's going on? Oh, it's at 1,600 hours, or what? Yeah, they can go back onto it. Why did they ever, why did it ever become dangerous? I don't understand. Yeah, it shouldn't have ever become dangerous. Yeah, okay, so now, now it's like over, so it's fine. I would have to, I would have to move this over to 24 hours. I'm not willing to do that at the moment, so. And we're doing four steam cores. I don't know, they're, they're doing their thing. But uh, because I'm moving some people around, I'm going to actually move some more people to engineer spots. And that's it. Broken promise, sir. The workers are here to file a complaint. You had the workers, a representative slams his fist on the You received us. You promised to dismantle a security outpost. You built you more. We'll warn everyone not to trust JC. Oh, for two days. I guess I should have never said I was going to do that. Because, like, it's like, I, I, that's unreasonable. I have to be able to build them. So I was wondering about that, actually. But, yeah. They, they, they aren't happy about that. Let's just go with that. All right, let's put, people, let's put work them onto proper buildings. People are hungry. We can say we'll feed them and stockpile food. Let's feed them. We have food coming in right now, so... Let's say... Let's just feed them. This the, the simpler promise. I think it's just complaining because I have... Is, it, is, is that really what it is? It's just the food is... I guess it is just that. All right, we'll go on standard meals for a bit. Here's another one. There we go. Alright, so Railroad Track. Uh, the Railroad Track runs from one horizon to the other. It's enormous, and the rails were almost knee high and run on very wide uh, sleepers. Alright, so you either get. Here's a Crevet Niage and the Trapper's Cabin. We'll go there first. Demon Drink. A small group marched out of the chapel after evening service, carrying makeshift signs and slogans, that, slogans such as. De ban the demon drink, renounce sin, choose temperance. They're now picketing the public house, demanding it stop serving alcohol. Angry patrons dr uh, volunteer to, uh, to drive the teetotalers away. We want to make sure they don't won't get in trouble for this. So we could side with teetotalers, which would be public house will have 30% less effect. No, we can't have them. How about them, lads? People will get hurt. Does that will rise or wait them out? It will reopen in 24 hours. Let's, let's let, let them fight. Fuck it. What could possibly happen? Let them fight. <laughs> That's fine. And they, you know, they have bouts and stuff going on. It's, it's okay. Okay, here's your advanced fishing harbor. We're gonna go build one of those guys. So that should definitely solve my food problems, right? Let's have a look. Oh, that, that definitely solves that. Okay. Let's, uh... Did that just double the food or what? That's crazy. Advanced fishing harbor. Allows us to build an advanced fishing harbor that's, um, doesn't even tell you, but I guess, I don't know what it was at before, but that's like 8.8, .8, so it's all good now. There's a lot of, uh, hungry, hungry people, so, but we'll, we'll, we'll feed all the hungry, it'll be fine. Alright, food rations. Trapper's cabin. So, it goes, a cozy refuge. A, a, a cast iron a stove, uh, stands next to a desk and sturdy chair. Uh, two two books that lie on the desk. The the origin of species by means of natural selection or preservation of, of flavored races in the struggle of life. Fa favored races, rather flavored. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, by Charles Darwin. <laughs> he was a cannibal. What can I tell you? Well known, he was a cannibal. <laughs> just. I didn't even read it as that. I just I just filled in the gap in my head. I'm sorry. Uh, the, uh, or the Voyage de, uh, de la Terre, or something French. Uh, a novel by Jules Verne. There's also creative canned food here. They're, these are good books, but also 29 food. Alright, we'll head to, to the Creve de Niage. I can't, I can't really pronounce that. My French is uh, terrible. Alright, we have some stuff we can do here. Let's look. Infirmary checklist won't be the worst thing. Redesign templates. That's a good one to do. No, they're not actually working yet. So, it's because these two are working now, and we actually have a lot of uh, coal going on. So I think I'm going to get to the point where I actually start 
having them work 24 hours now. How many composites? We need like 25 composites, right? Yes, 25 composites for the core, so. I'm gonna definitely start moving some people around. How much are we good on steam cores now? Also, let's see that. So, again, I don't try and do anything past what I have here. The only thing I'm concerned about is I might need one over here, too. Not enough steam cores. Oh, right, you need you need two for that. That makes sense. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put one down. And from this one, I'm going to start bringing more workers. Because I actually have more work capacity I could possibly get. So, And the Crave... I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it anymore. I think I've slaughtered enough for one day. All right, looks like our food's doing pretty good. I'm going to also... Oh, don't need to do chapel. Yeah, chapel's still on cooldown, so we're all good with that. Are these guys done? Nope, not quite. Almost done, though. Oh, wait. No, they are done. All right. So we can now build the core. There it is. Yeah, let's get everybody onto it. There we go. You're not working on that anymore. All right. And let's see. We will rearrange people based upon what we actually need at the moment. Thankless bastards. They're going on strike again? God, I hate these people. Let them, let them go on strike. What are they complaining about? Better work conditions. Fine. It, it was already like that. I think it was just like a... Wasn't it already above dangerous? Oh, yeah. It's because they're both going. That's why. It's, uh... Well, actually, I could get both of them going. Eh, let's see. It will go up again tomorrow, though, is the only thing. The, the, the good old thankless bastards. Let's just go with that. All right, we're full on steel. I'm gonna move people onto various buildings here. We're gonna put this to 24 hours. I'm just gonna try and get some parts of the generator done before the next day. Actually, I'm gonna keep it like this for now. No, stop. Why did it? Oh, because it's on. Oh yeah, because it was on short shifts before, I see. I have to do that. Isn't it above dangerous or what? Oh yeah, it says they will go to go rest. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, the next day I'm going to probably stockpile a bunch of resources and that's it. We're just going to build a bunch of parts for the generator. This will be good. Alright, so labor. Let's have a look. Uh, we're kind of done with this tree now, unless we really want to go for cocaine or, or reparation of bodies or something. I mean, we could do this, but it's like, it doesn't raise motivation. There's no point in doing that unless, like, someone actually dies. Uh, class segregation wouldn't be the worst thing, because the engineers will be a little bit more motivated, so... We might just do that just for fun shits and giggles, you know? Build lodging for our engineers. I'm sure this won't make the, cla the, the class warfare problem any worse. How many do I have to make, though? Lot 57. Engineers have to be housed. Alright, let's see what they have. Krivinyash. So we get still comments and steam cores. But it's an enormously huge locomotive lies on its side. Its view is both majestic and pathetic. So we get some steam cores as well. So we get uh, unbelievably huge, like a beach ship uh, for the engine. Uh, it's overturned when the ground gave way under its massive weight and the tracks buckled. There's an inscription on the main boiler, Crave Nash 12. Surely the French have a taste for dimensions. Uh, pity that the land has let them down. Now we can only salvage resources from this magnificent machine, so. And it's getting like, I like it that it's like getting more snow. It's really cool how that looks. So we have freight terminal and we have icy plateau. So we'll we'll do both and then we'll send it back. I need more workers. Rather unfortunate how unsafe the generator is right now, but those workers I guess are the ones that are doing it. It's constantly them, isn't it? Just like because it always tells me it's like, hey, those workers are stirring up shit, or they're just blaming them. I think they would they would do it anyways. I think when you get those those guys coming in, it just lowers the the strike acceptance by like one or something. So, foundry can have safety improvements. Not a big deal to me right now. I'd rather do gathering optimization. So the last level, so you get one more tier of reloading station. I would not bother with that. What we have is fine. Infirmary checklist is also good. 
Yeah, so we're kind of done most of the sciences. The plants wouldn't be bad either here. That's actually usually the last thing I would, I would ever want to go for there. So I'm, I'm going to have to take people off the minute the gas changes because, yeah. Fire danger. Sure, a, f a small fire broke out in the unf unfinished core. Uh, it's like someone told us about that. You may should put it out before it spread. <laughs> but this this is bound to happen again if we do not improve works uh, work 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 safety Additionally, we can build the fire dampers inside the structure to limit the scale of any potential fires that uh, from the damage of them So we'll say remind me later. Uh, so we need I think uh, I think it was Yeah, it was definitely steel composites that we needed for that So luckily the the factory introspect can basically do all these buildings which is really nice Oh, they, did they finish that? Oh, they did. They totally did. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, right, we're going to have to lower this. We're out of coal, so... In fact, we won't even work on any of these. And what I'm going to do is... Oh my goodness, it's laggy. There's actually a lot of coal problems that we have now. So I'm going to put everyone onto these resources. How many steam cores does this guy have? He has two. So when he comes back, I'm gonna just feed him whatever I need for over here and that's it. So we're gonna just acquire some resources first. Oh yeah, do you know why? Because we start building steam compasses. This require 40 coal, they're ridiculous. But we need it because we, we need the steam core damper, so it's just uh, not really an option. Plus the, the toxicity is going up tomorrow anyways. I feel a little bit of lag going on with this. This is crazy. Feed all the hungry. Why are they not feeding themselves? Okay, we may, we may need more... Uh, we may not have enough food being made. Alright, another one. Food rations. Big double doors in the warehouse open. There's a stack of crates full of canned food with French labels inside. So, to the last can. We take stock of the foods of life. Several workers appear and ask us. If we understand their French, whether the Crevenage is coming soon, uh, because living here is becoming unbearable. Yeah. They've apparently been waiting for that train for quite some time, sustaining themselves on canned food. So we can see them take their food, or that's it. So for 103 rations, but they have steam cores with them. Also, I wouldn't do this anyways, because uh, food is really not that much big of a problem as, as, as much as it seems like it is, because I, I actually am having food problems, I guess. But I'm going to tell them the truth, and we won't rob them. We told the poor Frenchman no one was coming from. They immediately start packing their food and preparing to set up. All right, close that. I wasn't planning on taking that one anyways. But we don't want to lose those steam cores, so. I need some some food here somewhere. Let's see, a cookhouse. We'll just have it go up here. It's, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's the, it's the generator has, like, graphics or something going on with it. I think you need, like, uh, eight steel composites, if I recall, but we do want to do that, so. Uh, let's see, so... The, the, other, the only other thing at this tech would be the safety improvements, so... Which I probably should have, but I don't. Alright, transfer arrived, we got some more workers, which I don't really need at the moment, but... I don't know. It's okay. It's a problem over here. Security outpost. Gonna go eat. Okay, whatever. We can get some more wood as well. And again, remember, we could just we could bank on these things by just doing this and just not putting anyone in the building, so. Hungry or fed, they had a meal and they're someone satisfied for the time being. All good. Switch it back to the regular meals. I it says tomorrow it's going to raise the gases, but I don't, I don't see it raising it right now. I don't I mean, I could just put it on short shifts for the time being. That's That might be what I end up doing. Let's do that, actually. Let's see, put it to short shifts, this one. It's deadly, right? Oh, right, we have to put this to short shifts, too. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll make him work on this. That's fine. And you could also, if you really wanted to, you could like switch it between short shifts and, and long shifts if you if you really want to. Uh, sorry, and then 24 hours, so you get the 10% bonus and some other stuff, so. Suspicious minds. We noticed that one of the engineers is sending very long letters to Aunt Bertha almost every day. 
Uh, they regard the family and, re and they regard family and religious matters and seem to be in in uh, innocuous. But the German-sounding name of this aunt raised our suspicions. We found out that by rearranging certain letters, we can form sentences such as shaft rotor or iron coupler. We also found flu rhino and crackle grab. But this might, but this might be code. What should we do about this engineer? Stop being paranoid or intercept all his letters. So we're gonna just say stop being. That's like the most schizo thing I've ever, I think I've ever seen. So we're gonna say stop being paranoid. I see plateau. After a track disappeared under the ice, we followed its general direction for a couple miles, seeing nothing on the horizon, but backtracked and found out, uh, trying to find this place where the track comes up. It seems that it does not. Where does the track lead? We may never know. That's it. We lost track. So we'll send this guy back with the steam cores we just obtained, and that's it. There's like another mountain pass here to go check out, and that's that's pretty much the end of that. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this uh, place here. Do we need more? Yes, I do. I need one more. All right. It's not it's not a strike. It's just it's just off because of the day. Do we need ten of those? I don't even know how many we need for the. Uh, I, th I thought the, the steam exchangers needed like, I don't even remember what they need now. I, I should have read what it needed, but I didn't need it, so go, go sue me. Um, all right, so automatic prototyping, let's go. The last bit of technology. So this guy definitely doesn't need anything anymore. Um, the last here, what we're gonna do, let's have a look. So look at the generator. We are four days ahead of schedule, so we're still doing extremely good. Um, we have assembled the generator, which is steam exchangers and steel composites of so 50, 20 is what we're after here. So we can keep those going. How's the coal doing right now? Yeah, coal's fine. And we, yeah, we, we have two more coming in, so we'll put that also into the, uh, whatever, the reloading stations here as well. We made them efficient, all that kind of fun stuff, so. Do I need more workers? I probably do. Let's get another steam core, because we can get upgrade one last one, and then we'll just do the rest as workers. Yeah, I swear it was like, uh, like, what are, I don't know, it should, it, the, the props should come up again. Oh, here we go. Fire dampers, okay, here we go, we now have enough of them. So it was, fi it was five steel compasses, so that's what I thought it was, because I didn't have resources for it, it's always like less than ten or something. So we can now build those fire dampers, which will limit the fire f damage of fire. I remember, always build it. Always, always build them. So what I might do is I might take these guys off of that. Because I want to I want to keep the coal going. So I'll put them onto here instead. Okay, that's fine. And I, would, well, I actually don't need profiles, never mind. We need uh, these guys. That's a little bit more. A little bit unsafe, but that's fine. All right, we got another book of laws. Dang, it does get really like laggy at the, at the end here for me. I don't even know. Building some dropping frames. It's all good. All right, again, I said I wasn't gonna do uh, strike busting or penal colony. Penal colony. I don't think I really need either one. Uh, we could just do reparation of bodies just to get that out of the way. Um, I, I don't think anyone's gonna die. We could also do cocaine to bring our thing back up, but I don't know. I don't think we need it. So we'll we'll maybe just hold off on these things. Yeah, it's, I think it's the sheer amount of stuff in the game. Memory leak, what can I do? Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I want to build? I don't think there was. Yeah, because we have everything we need at this point. Fishing harbor is at 100%, so. Alright, they've returned to the city. That's it. And we can go get ourselves another steam reloader. Alright, so I can send this guy, I can either, I'm, I might actually just employ this guy, but then again, there's a little bit more to explore this way, so let's, let's just wrap that up. We'll bring him back after the fact. Did I not finish the lodgings? I, I guess I didn't. It would be people, right? Yeah. How many more do I need? Uh, I may be lacking a little bit in resources here. Oh, right, because we're, we're building... Uh, actually, this is deadly. One second, don't do that. I'm going to put this to a little bit higher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just have them go grab... Okay, they are grabbing stuff, then. Just rearrange people around a little bit. 
I would like them to work on this site as well, but I don't know if they will be able to. Yeah, okay, this one's fine. Because that's another little sub-project we're doing. We're trying to make the engineers happy, so, you know. As we usually do, because we love engineers. They're our friends. I full of filters. These actually have a significant cost to them, so we're going to wait on that for a little bit here. The core is on strike. Thank you. Uh, sure, you can have better working conditions. I actually can't really give that to you, can I? No, it looks like I can't. I'd have to use the profiles for that. I mean, I could just research that. All right, I won't employ them there, then that's fine. I'll just get, get them to do other things that I need anyways. That's a better option. If I can't get them to do anything anyways, I might as well get them to, to go somewhere else and, yeah, sure, make some food too. We're, we're again, we're, we're still trying to stockpile some food and everything, so let's see how we're we doing for food, actually, speaking of. Yeah, we got plenty. So yeah, today's not a good day for having them work on that, so. And even this one's pretty bad, yeah, because whatever, whatever the gas is too high, it's just like, it's just better just not to make them do anything. And just like, just, yeah, who cares, just assemble parts for the next time we, we do something with that, so. What I'll do is when this one's done, I'll uh, move them into this one here. 24 hours for that. Because we need, like, what is it, 50 exchange heat exchangers for for next time? Yeah, 50. So we might as well just make them now. Like, there's no, there's no reason not to. And I'm just stockpiling coal and everything we'll need, so. What I could also do is I could put... Put stuff in the bank over there. We don't need we don't need resource uh, warehouse or anything. Alright, mounted pass. Let's go check that out. Get the, got, the, got, got a good bank over there, so that's fine. Productive structures, researched, all right. I really would like to finish the engineer's lodgings. Now, one of the downsides about doing engineer's lodgings, which may be a compelling reason not to do it, they're also affected by the, the comfort, comfortable housing law that you signed earlier in the game, so just saying that's a thing. All right, another steam reloading. I might actually just switch these over to wood or something, or steel, I mean. I don't think I need that much more wood. We might actually just do that. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. That's it. So what it's going to do is it's going to dump uh, whatever is in here. And wood can be gathered from this for now on. We can just get wood uh, another way. I don't know why. Well, I don't know why I didn't just do that earlier. It just takes a little while to switch it over. Let's do... How many more do I need? Let's do two more, and that should be good. Hold on a second, let's get a few more. Because I'm just letting this go up as far as it can. All I have to do is take things out of that resource, and that's it. it seems that an avalanche came down here not so long ago. Hoof tracks disappear into the avalanche field. Uh, did the engineer reindeer cause it? Move on. There's an avalanche field. Let's check that one out. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna do, I would like to do the more efficient. We probably don't need the efficiency on these. I, like I said, I don't bother with an additional ventilation plant, but 15%, I mean, that's probably not worth it. Actually, a lot of these ones at level three aren't worth it. In fact, I wouldn't have even bothered with this. I'll, <clears throat> I'll do the other one here. It's a, it re just requires too much steel. All right, so it's gonna just do its steel stuff now. All right, first snow. On this morning, the camp wakes up to the sight of dancing white snowflakes. The first snow came in much sooner than anyone expected. Although it melts soon, the mood remains, remains depressed. People shuffle through the mist, the falling snow, uh, snow muffling their voices and turning them pale like ghosts. Someone curses them under their breath. This is the last thing we needed. Working in such cold is going to be such a drag. This nasty surprise heralds an unnaturally early winter, but no one feels like talking about that. Motivation will fall even more each morning. We must endure. <laughs> so that's a bit of an interesting one, but yeah. He, that guy has no idea. <laughs> Working in such cold is going to be a drag, he says. Alright, this is all the steel that we can possibly have. Yeah, we 
don't need that anymore. Actually, we don't need these going though. Uh, well, actually, no. I can I can have these going. As long as that's functional. I have to. I just, I just have to move these people around. So we do have the protective structures now, and I can even make it cheaper to use that. So we could, if we wanted to, we could actually just make this go all the time. But I'd rather the gas go down by another, uh, another little, little bit there. So one second, we can move them around as well. So I don't think we actually strictly need this medical post either. Working in this kind of cold will be such a drag, he says. All right. <laughs> I, I do love that that like little thing for that. Like it's just like you know what that means. You're like, oh man, buddy, you are not gonna like the next the next uh, deck, uh, uh, whatever century or whatever. Uh, we've traversed the avalanche pe uh, field and found no ranger tricks uh, tracks on the other side. The herd might be buried at the foot of the mountain. Move on. So you get rustling trails and herd of reindeer. So I guess I'll start with that one. But you've probably heard the listen the entire time. They have like a lot of good like different music for this too. I've done a really great job with this uh, little, little, little expansion back. I really do it. I really do like it. So ventilation plans are going. We don't need the support. We don't need any the efficiency reduction anymore. So the last one, I'm pretty much gonna just let it go down tomorrow, and I'm probably gonna just uh, go all in on it with support frames and everything. Because I could make it so it's optimized, so it takes up a little bit less, but I, I don't know. I'm not really going to use it a whole lot. Prostitutes checked. Better check yourself before you trek yourself. There you go. Change of plans. Sir, a telegram from London. We're going to be cut off. The frost is coming sooner than I expected. Royal Meteorological Society warns that the sea will freeze in approximately 12 days, stopping all navigation and fishing. We will cease all shipments in 10 days. Start stockpiling materials and food. The evacuation by an icebreaker is planned in 18 days. It is imperative that you complete the generator by then. Good luck. All right. Oh, and yeah, some some things fell here. It's fine. Right, we can get that going again. Let's see. This guy's almost done. So we have, we have to start looking at this. We do not need any more steam core, so we're just going to bring people in. Is what we're going to do. All right, herd of deer. Easy prey. Reindeer have no way to escape. We can stop stop here for a few days and hunt them and dig up those buried by the avalanche. So we can set up camp here and for raw, uh, raw food to the construction site. All right, we won't be doing that right now because that's uh, we already have that one going and we have put more than enough food for it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and we're just continuing to make our... Uh, Lovely slow sleep course. What's the other thing we needed besides that? We needed uh, 20 steel composites as well, so we're at 15 of that, so we're pretty good on that. Bring for the cold. So the cold threw everyone off guard. The, if the forecasts are true, it'll make finishing the construction that much more different. Uh, the, the construction that more, much more difficult. Crew working on the technology started thinking about ways we can at least somewhat mitigate the coming cold. If you want to, we have some ideas that can be delved into solutions per your request. Show me or I see. So it's go see so we now have a new tab here we get brazers heaters and healthcare insulation so the brazers are pretty good uh the heaters as well are also extremely good um what am i researching right now optimized protection yeah we'll just we'll let that finish we were like half halfway done that so you get some lovely cold technologies because we're at zero degrees right now the temperature did drop but everything's still pretty good for cold it's uh yeah it's everything's comfortable i just have way too much stuff on the screen going on that's great Oh, no. I, I stopped it when before the last one was done. All right. We're going to do the last one here. Let's have a look. Heat. Yeah, for some reason, this particular uh, this particular scenario kind of struggles a little bit with the uh, uh, the proton stuff. So, so if people lack motivation to do their job properly, if efficiency in all workplaces suffers as a result, we must do something about it. Okay. So at this point, uh, we're starting to suffer a little bit. I guess I should have done the, the motivation there, but I didn't. Um, I kind of forgot about it. Rusting rails. Uh, hundreds of huge, heavy rails uh, lie here, particularly frozen in the ground. Move on. All right. 
it will eventually get to the point where we can't do much about it, but I'm going to send these workers back. There's nothing else for them to do, nothing else to scout, so might as well send them back. All right, so the, the what's it called? The toxicity went down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everybody off of everything. All right, everybody's going to go work on this guy. Where's it? You promise safety. Remain safety first, un unrest, sure, whatever, fine. I'm just trying to get them to work on it. You can work on it now, right? Yes. Because I, I did the protective structures too. I, I just want them to work on it. There we go. Because they, they will work on it. It just, it, it was a timing thing. It was dumb. Uh, safety first. Fuck, stop doing that. Uh, there we go. Okay, it's fine now. <laughs> it's, it's having some problems, okay? Uh, we need some of these composites as well. Actually, we need that instead of this, because we need to do the next stage early here. Just like five of these, and then we can start working on the next stage as well after that, so. Alright, we can start, we can just move some people around, but not too many. I always find that to be the weirdest thing, is like, how do you, how do you get them to work on it, kind of thing. And so we're at, like, yeah, fair bit of efficiency. We could also do overseer's inspection. The slap. Sir, an overseer got into an argument with a worker during which the uh, worker slapped him. The overseer demands exemplary punishment. It's not about the injury, which is mostly to my pride, says the engineer. It's about the, our authority as overseers. Without it, we can't serve the company. The worker is un unrepentant. Treat others with respect or you'll get your ugly mug smashed. Issue a stern warning, which is uh, motivation will fall, which I have it at medium. I'd rather not do that. Or punish the worker. Yeah, it'll fall slightly fine. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want them to strike again. I'm kind of tired of that. So, so are they at a? Yeah. So they're at, they're at zero percent efficiency. So we can't really keep it up anymore as it is. It's just how it is. So. Uh, wanted, sir. A shocking letter from uh, arrived from Manchester uh, Kosabla. It seems that one of the engineers sus is suspect to uh, several gruesome murders. The police want to question him and is asking us to send him back on the first outbound ship. The man claims he's innocent, obviously. What should we do? We can imprison him, which requires rounds up, <laughs> which is uh, a part of uh, the, the what's it called? The the, uh, the penal colonies right after they get round ups, which is to make 15 people. Uh, randomly get chosen to become convicts. So you get to make your existing workforce into convicts. Because they, you know, they don't need to, they won't strike and they won't uh, they won't eat as much. Kind of thing. Uh, you can keep him, which this can will rise, or send him back, we lose one engineer. Now, uh, just spoiler, uh, he's not guilty, and they'll tell you that after the fact, they won't t send you anything else. It's just a way to lose a worker for just, uh, I'm just going to keep him. Now, we're done, I think, over here, right? Yep. How are we doing for generator? Four days ahead of schedule. Still doing extremely well, even though I wasn't even working on it half the time. That's just how powerful it is, like a lot of these things. It's crazy, huh? Right, I'm going to make some of these structural profiles. Oh, we can use some more of these. So, let's see. We're having we're having the ventilation plants go 24-7. We're at 37%. I'm going to just keep it going. And as soon as, uh, as soon as the, yeah, it's one day, 12 hours for the protective structure cooldown. First time I'm using it, but yeah, it's, they're, they're useful in these situations, but it, you want the, it, they work best with 24 hour laws. So they're really nice for that. Uh, we can get improved heater as well. Again, that's, that's the, the same text that you're used to. And I just realized there's no, no one in there. I need to rearrange some people. I need some more steel for sure. Uh, sorry, not steel, that's coal. All right, there we go. So I love I love how the ships come in here, and I love that, like, just the shipwreck looking over here. And it's definitely just me looking over here is, like, really bad for uh, just performance of the game. All right, transfer arrived. We have some more workers. Excellent. We're going to just basically just pull in workers all the time. That's that's our pretty much our plan. More workers. Nope. Oh, we're done with this. So we will eventually have to sh shift this back, but it's the more the gas are going to become the problem. 
All right, so he's done. So there's there's nothing else to actually get here anymore. Just another site that we can't do anything with. So we will bring him back in. Where is he at? Uh, which one is he? Is he this one? Disband. There we go. And we'll go get... We'll put them immediately to work. Going to go eat. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Let's go get more steel. Eventually, I'll go get some more of this. Actually, that's probably the better one to go deploy right now. There we go. So if they're just all going to go eat for some reason. Well, because they, I guess they've been out scouting for ages, so. Evacuate them now. God help those poor souls. Let's get them out. There are people trapped inside the core, they'll die. All right, fire in the core. So we could either... So, oh, uh, well, yeah, fire in the core. Sound of a uh, sound of explosion comes from the janitor. Um, then the din of uh, then the din of terrified voices. A fire broke out in the nearly finished core. Many of the workers are trapped inside. We can evacuate them, but if the fire is allowed to spread unchecked, it will destroy the core and, and forever cripple the generator. Evacuate the workers, uh, crippling the generator. The, the, the generator will be prone to malfunctions. Some of the workers will be injured. All progress on the on the core will be lost. Interesting. So that that's that's like a I guess what the what the person at site like what was it like one eleven or something did, um, or one seventeen that's what it was. Cut off air supply to put the fire out. The the generator will be of normal quality. Many workers will die. Discontent will rise greatly. Strike curse will rise greatly. Or put the fire dampeners to put the fire out. Generator will be of normal quality. Many workers will be gravely injured, but some progress will be lost on the core. So, or we can use the emergency safety. It's not safe, so we can't do that. And it will never be safe. You can't do that. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think you can. I don't know if you absolutely can't do that, but yeah. So we luckily we did do the fire damper. Only five things for that. So, um, so we will do that. But it did. It did put our progress back to fifty percent. That's fine. We have five MPTs, and we can go just ship them home whenever whenever they get in here. Now, some of them are going to a shipment or whatever. We'll wait for a bit. Oh yeah, there actually there's more people coming in too. There's a lot of sick people. Oh, one second. We can rearrange people a little bit. That's why I have this other building here. What are these guys doing? Dude, they're always gonna go eat. When do they not go eat? I actually might go, yeah, you know what, I, this is fine. Cause it's only regular sick people, so they're fine. I don't have to make another thing. Uh, we could go down the Brazers path. It's I think it's the it's either the gas graphic or something else. Do we need comms this? Oh, we don't. I'll put people onto this. We'll put the safety procedures on to make it go as fast as possible. Unfortunately, the minute the gas goes up, uh, we will have to take everyone off of it because we don't have a choice. Because like I said, I don't go for that last one. So right now this puts us as four days ahead of schedule. So we're still doing really well. Just for making a few composites. I guess we can do... Let's see. Oh, uh, we can make a few more of these. I'll give it a regular hours. I'm not planning on really rearranging anybody, so... Actually, you know what? Let's get some more wood. We may need more wood, so let's do that. We have most of what we need here, so... It's really about, like, can you last without without it? And that's it, so. We will do medical reparation. Goodbye. MPTs that we don't need. <laughs> I, I know it seems rather heartless, and it probably is, but, you know. It probably is. Oh, this one is out of... Or is it full? Yeah, no, it's out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move people back into the docks to get more ships coming in to dock, drop things off. Let's see, it hasn't gone up yet. You always hear the noise when it when the, when the uh, what's it called the when the, when it changes because it makes like a little clicking noise. I don't know if you've been listening to that, but uh, yeah. So we could do essentially we get the brazers, which is just like uh, like not apparently we have this generator that we can't use in this uh, in this scenario. It's kind of the way it is. So we can we can we kind of put brazers down to you know kind of do that, but we want to get the the range as well because it will basically give us better range on all the brazers, which is good. 
We're not gonna bother with it quite yet because uh, everything's still comfortable. It's like, where is it at? It's like tech, brazers. So they look like this. Little, little mini heat zones. Transport arrived. All right, here's what we can do. Structural profiles, don't know where that. Get everybody to go in here. So one of the interesting things is, is docks are too efficient, actually. Uh, even at upgraded docks, they're just too efficient for the buildings as they are, which is kind of weird how it works, but yeah. Yeah, everything's like nine, I guess. I'll just put, I'll just put both of them in there. Nobody wants to be in that one. I'm just trying to finish up the generator. Um, well, at least the core. 79%. Alright, one person doesn't have a home. That one one sucker doesn't have one. The, luckily, the engineer's houses don't actually need it. It's just everybody else. And the this one I like to keep as is, because uh, this is the two coal things, and we might be making gathering posts for those when it comes down to it. So we'll see what happens, but you know, hopefully we won't need it. Am I am I am I uh, concerned about the fact I didn't make a additional uh, medical post? I don't think so. I think it, yeah, there you go. It went down. It, we're all good. So there's there's your safety, which I need to now put it back up to this. So. And if it doesn't finish in time, then I have to basically just wait until it's gone. And we can also start heating it if we wanted to. That is an option. Is this one? Yeah, we're basically full on wood now. We're full on steam cores too. So the thing we can start doing is we can just keep making steam uh, steel composites now. Let's go start moving people around. Because we will need that for later anyways, so might as well, right? Actually, we could also start banking them too. I, I keep forgetting I could just do that. But I don't know. I, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. And that's what you do. Like, just stockpile a bunch of stuff and just like, because you can always see what the next level is going to need. And then once you're ready, you just go. That's it. So you can raise the temperature around every bra brazier around two levels, doubl uh, doubling its coal use, and then so we can just do some diffusion burners. So it wasn't a bad thing to go into the last level of tech, because you do get these two techs that you kind of want anyways. But like everything else is not very useful, so. And there's a very important thing once we finish the core that will happen that these, the, essentially these ventilation plants, they're not needed anymore. There you go, milestone achieved. Uh, assemble a generator. Now erect two parts of the thermal hull, which will uh, be, uh, make up the central part of the generator. Once that's done, the generator will be ready. So there you go. And luckily, I have all those, uh... I have all those parts for it. Yep, come on. Where's it at? Come on, where's the pit pixel? There it is. Alright, for now what I'll do is, just so they don't whine... Are they really complaining? All right, here we go. End of toxic danger. Sir, now that the core of the generator is finished, we are able to steal, uh, seal the whole uh, whole structure tightly. The toxic gas is venting from the source. No longer can reach the surface. We don't have to worry about them anymore. I'm glad to hear that. So that's why these these two guys, we can just get rid of them. They're, they're done. We don't need anybody in that. We can put them back into research. All right, and they're able to work on this now. Yeah, let's see. So there's no more toxic gases. We're just gonna work on, is it just thermal hull? Is that all we need? Yep, two thermal hulls and that's it, so. Uh, I can get some more people to work on that though. Yeah, we don't need you over here. And we're gonna make them both work 24 hours. So it should, yeah, there we go. Because the factory introspect is lowering it again. And what, what I can start doing is I can start rearranging people. So that they're gonna now just pump out that generator to full, to max. I guess I guess it, I guess it didn't do much for the frame rate for the game for me, but yeah. It's, uh, I, I guess this is a particular game that doesn't, I don't know, I, I didn't have this much issue last time, but I, I don't know. I think I have some PC problems, let's just go with that, so it's a hot day. <laughs> Chaos Rising, the heart of the generator finished. The project is well on its way to completion, well done. Amidst the political turmoil back home, word got out that most of the generators won't be operational in time, causing widespread panic. The interim government set up a lottery system, though people claim it's rigged. The situation is volatile and the authorities brace themselves for riots. The country is thinking of the chaos. We won't fail. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to try lowering the graphics a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. 
Oh, that's like way better. <laughs> I, you know, I restarted the game really fixed it actually. It wasn't the graphics. I think there was maybe some kind of memory leak or something with it. I don't think it's my PC melting. I think it's actually just a problem with the uh, something, some kind of memory leak with the game or something. Anyways, that 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 helped a lot. It, I'm gonna keep the graphics kind of turned down though a little bit because I think it's fine the way it is. I think we can all forgive a little bit less graphics for uh, for some more frames, right? Uh, let's see. So coal, we're gonna keep stockpiling uh, for various reasons of uh, resources. Remember, we are going to need that in terms of uh, it's 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 a valuable resource for you know uh, staying staying alive in the cold. So let's go get that going because that is. It is already kind of hinted to you that is the second part of, well, the last part of the scenario, at least. Although I could get this done really fast, I'll tell you that much. So there's no more things needed for that. I, I felt like there was so much snow before, but it just got rid of it. Maybe that was the memory leak or something. Maybe it wasn't supposed to do that. I feel like they may have introduced some bugs somewhere, but yeah, I'm going to say, because I kind of had that happen last time a little bit. And this time I was like, eh, I kind of don't want to deal with that. So anyways, improved blowers. Uh, advanced burners would be good. I want to reduce the... I want to use the absolute minimum amount of coal when I actually turn them off. On. And you can actually see, we actually do have a temperature drop incoming, so... I do... I do like engineers the best. They have the best factory introspect. Actually, yeah, there is a bit of... There is a bit of snow. You can actually see it there. It didn't just go away. I think it... I think it's much less, though, now, so... That says a lot, doesn't it? Alright, now that we have both these thermal hulls going, we can actually see what we need for the last part of it. Oh, never mind, we can't. <laughs> Alright, and I think nobody tested the cutscene when you, uh... <laughs> when you press the button at the exact same time. That's funny. Alright, so it's getting a bit colder now. <laughs> Just... That's funny. Alright, so we have uh, optional upgrades we can do at the end, which is... Optional upgrades cost, uh, steel composites, and steam exchangers. So, 45 and 25, respectively. So, we can get those started. So we need, uh, what was it, 25 of these? We have 14 here. I'm gonna move some people around though. And the last one is steam exchangers. We'll need a bunch of those too. I'll, I'll start with the other one and then the rest of them I'll make later. And I think we'll just bring a couple more people in. Might as well, right? Oh, and there's someone waiting over here. We'll go get some more food. Actually, that wouldn't be the worst thing to do. So, I don't think motivation is going up anymore, so we're gonna switch this over all to standard meals. And I'm gonna actually make another one for food rations, just so we can keep enough food for us as well. Uh, cause food will start to become a little bit of a concern, so... Cause we obviously have the rest of them kind of going down, that's it, so... I do like the fact, like, you notice how, like, the entire environment has been, like, creeping with the snow? It's really cool. Well, I like the looks of it. Uh, with the cold, it's still fine for temperature, but now these generator parts are very low risk of falling off. We could just power them. We could just give it the, the heater thing, but you can actually see it's actually useful now. There's actually a difference. The docks are colder, apparently, than everything else. Which makes a lot of sense, so. Alright, let's have a look. Down with the war. Sir, a worker's mother uh, writes him that, uh, that his brother was shot dead during a demonstration against conscription. A highly controversial new measure introduced in the second year of the Balkan War. Young people have been protesting it from the start, but it seems this is the first time mechanized lancers were sent against them. Now, mechanized lancers. What, is that, what, what does that tell you? That's the automatons. Uh, so that's what, they're, that's what they're referencing. You notice we didn't actually get automatons this, this uh, scenario. That's more of a... Um, you just don't get them now, kind of thing. It's it, but they do reference them that they're in this universe, kind of thing. Right? Well, of course they are. It's like it's like what a year or two before. Like I, I think it's like a year before uh, New London, if I recall. I forget exactly where it is. Let the man grieve or censor the letter. Let's just censor the letter. So motivation sucks, but hey, you know what? It's fine. Generator is being built, so except camp for the herd of deer. We're all good. And as you can see, even on this, like, we're, we're still, like, way ahead on this. Yeah, seven days. We're are seven days ahead of schedule, I want to say. So, <laughs> it's it's really, like, not 
a problem like this whole scenario like this. I just like yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm just gonna let them just finish up the generator. We don't need it. We actually really don't need that many more resources. So uh, I guess we could have had this going twenty four hours. I just realized. Uh, let's see. We have like one guy here. Yeah, we want to keep the food going, so... We may need more tents, though, because I'm about to... Sh I'm shipping in, like, 26 more people, so... Now, you might be wondering, why am I continuing to bring people in well? Because some of them may want to leave. Oh, okay. I was wondering why it was, like, like lagging there a little bit. Do we have anyone working in the... I guess we don't have anyone working in these. need some more wood. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just keep that the way it is. Guess we really don't need the medical post anymore. Actually, no, we do. Never mind. I just looked over and I'm, I noticed that there's like a bunch of people sick. I guess we could start making people uh, heat up the those those places right there. Let's see. We really don't need any more of this, though. Really wounded. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they're all good. Uh, let's see. Improved blowers. Don't have enough resources for it. Still the steam sawmill going, but we're good. Alright, so we got a couple more people in here now. And I'm going to get a couple more. A little bit more steel going. How many more steel compasses? They don't have that many more steel compasses to do. It 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 keeps diverting people out of the uh, the 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 house there because it's just like because uh, I think they're being treated as gravely ill or something. But I assume they're getting sick from uh, basically working on either the thermal hull or something else. So. But it's like as I said, it's pretty easy to work with right now. So just looking at like anything else that potentially needs heating. The tents will eventually need heating, but not right now. How's our food situation? Yeah, we're, we're fine for now. Alright, that seems to have solved our problem with the people getting sick. It's likely because they're actually going out of heat zones at the moment, is might be what it's doing, but then again, it's, it is still saying it, they don't fall ill, so I don't know. <laughs> Why would it just lie to me? Who knows? Alright, are these done? Yeah, we're done on steel composites. We can now work on these ones. Let's see. Oh, do we, have, we have more signs to do. Let's do that one now. We can try and raise motivation, although I, I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I would have to go. I would have had to go really hard into it, but I, I don't really care at this point because, again, we're ten days ahead of schedule. So, <laughs> this is what I kind of meant by I. Oh wow, we have a lot of sick again. This is what I kind of meant by like we have way too much. I'll make another infirmary. That's what I'll do. Yeah, don't want to do it there. I guess it might be worth it to do some kind of laws around that. So I can... Discontent raises global strike risk by one. We were doing pretty well there for a while there, but yeah. Let's see. Alarming rumors. Sir, it seems uh, word of the last news from London has spread around the camp. People whisper all si kinds of wild tales, but the most widespread rumor is that everyone will be left to die. Are you going to do something about it? Let people talk or explain the situation. Which is, discontent will rise greatly and motivation will fall. So, I don't know, it's, it, I, at this point, it's, I don't think it makes much of a difference for finishing in January, so, I'll just say, uh, I guess we'll just explain the situation. They're gonna be upset, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try and get engineers to work on this. Can I get, I actually have one over, employed over here. I might actually get another, uh, another one over there we have we have too much coal now so ironically you can never have too much coal there's actually an event you can get that's like uh if you start stockpiling nothing but coal you can then tell your workers that coal's the future it's, it's great it's fantastic 
I do love that one. <laughs> they go like, sir, you have a problem. We have a generator to make. It's actually a really funny one. Oh, they want to strike. Better working conditions. Weren't they, wasn't it above dangerous to begin with? Fine, I'll do that one. I, I have these platforms for a reason. You can just finish it with that, I don't care. Right, moving some people around. We, I don't think I really need any more steel actually than that, so. Looks like that one's done, inoperative. So, with that being said, I can probably, let's see. I could probably rearrange this one to basically just put this to wood. Because wood is equal to more resources effective. Oh, sorry, that wood is equal to more full with the kilns, so. We could just, we could start going down that path now. All right, eater efficiency upgrade. Fuels will burn less coal. That's not really that important, to be fair. So, I'll just do healthcare insulation. I'm switching us away. They're almost done anyway, so someone was injured during a bout. Nice. Doesn't really matter. We have a lot more sick coming in, but we we made two healthcare stations for this. I guess it's just because it's just cold all over the place. There's a lot more let there's a less places around that they can basically go and be safe kind of thing, so. Finally, I can't believe it. Our toil is over. It's operational. It's operational. The final challenge. Sir, after great sacrifices, we complete the generator in record time. Someone said it could be done, yet here it stands, shouting into the wind. We will endure. It's time to head home and, ce and celebrate our victory, unless we take up the final challenge. Out of the three generators planned for Liverpool's, ours is the only one that, that will serve them. To save that as many souls as possible, we could stay and upgrade our generator. Shall we do this? So you can either end the scenario now, or you can say, yeah, we're going to stay and do it. So we'll do that. We will stay and upgrade the janitor. So we have to install three upgrades in order to raise the capacity of the city protect, uh, protected by your uh, generator. A riser system, overdrive, and heat vents. Each of them will require plenty of resources and labor to complete. Um, so we are like way far ahead. And so I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm going to purposely delay it just so we can see what all the end events are. Cause I did this last time too, where I won it way too fast. And then like it, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's actually generally like, for your first run, it's not this easy, but I'm surprised I did this well with it again, but I don't know. It is what it is. Anyways, here we go. So we go. Good work. Uh, congratulations, Fish genera Generator. Not a moment too soon. Nationwide food shortage caused people to take to the streets. There are riots in Manchester, Birmingham, and Leeds. Well, no one cares about Birmingham, so just let that burn to the ground, is what I say. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, chaos in the colonies is even worse. Uh, Eb Ebenezer Craven, the new prime minister, name you should be familiar with, he was in uh, uh, Refugees, wants to redirect resources uh, to, uh, for the generator program. We might have to change our next assignment. Uh, Icebreaker is on its way and should arrive to evacuate you soon. We will be waiting. I don't know why it's saying Icebreaker. I guess it assumed that um, it had already frozen over, but it hasn't, so... I'm, uh, let, let me just go say we're, we're, we're pretty much done with generator. <laughs> so we get the three upgrades. We get the riser system, which is a, a system of, of large vertical pipes will improve the circulation and raise the maximum range of the generator, is the first one. Uh, we also get the overdrive. So this is funny because it implies that the overdrive is actually something that generators don't come with by default. It's something that, in all the other scenarios, someone stayed behind, researched it to upgrade it, kind of thing, which is kind of cool. And there's also, um, so that would be the doing a or emergency setting of generator, a drastic raising the heating level. And you remember how important that was in some of those scenarios, right? Or heat vents. Additional heat transfer structures will raise the maximum heating level of the generator. So, yeah. And it's going to do nothing but make these things. We have, like, a lot of people available. And we're not, we're not going to bother bringing anyone else in, so... Let's have a look. I'm going to just stockpile some resources. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do structural profiles because it, it stores some wood for me, like I said. It's like the be it's like a bank. It's fine. I would really like a... There we go. Internal promotion. I was, I, I was just thinking that. I'm like, I want that thing. So, uh, purposely, I'm going to not 
finish this Nero early because I want to see all the events all the way through with you guys. So, well, I, I know what they are, but um, it, it gets kind of fun. So, you know, but right now the tents are okay. It's all good. Engineers get some nice housing. Do they need more housing? I think we need more housing for the, our lovely engineers. I don't know how much housing we count as having, but yeah, we got we got a few. 20 in care houses. Oh yeah, we have 20 available in care houses, that's what it's saying. Alright, riser system completed. So we can go straight into... I guess we don't even have 20 yet. Alright. I'll we'll just keep it going. Might as well. We actually technically don't need this building anymore, because we're actually... We have the maximum amount. Because for the last upgrade, it's like, what, 15 of those? So we can just get rid of that. No, no need. I do like the fact you can see like a shift coming in. That looks, that's, this looks awesome. All right, I can do, let's see. I can't do anything right now. Come on, work more efficiently. All right, we can get this one. The last one just requires 25, so. We got 15 right now. Please report to your uh, we got one guy who can be working that. So, okay, so now we're at the point where now the brazers are kind of needed, so we can actually start working on those. I think they require steel, do they not? It's like tech, yeah, brazers. Guess we'll have to make some place in the middle here too. I'm hoping I can disassemble some of these too when we're kind of done with it. Let's see, that one's fine. Now luckily the engineers' lodgings count as actual houses, so they're actually really, really warm. I guess I'll actually more put it over here. I have one more brazier. And anyone that's not in a grid, I'll just like dismantle it or something. We'll see. So, workshops are okay. Um, again, upgrade docks are still going, so we're, we're okay for that. Alright, so we have some things here. Being of the end, let us go. Sir, a group of people wants to talk to you to go, uh, let them go board the last ships. We didn't sign up to be polar explorers. We don't want to be stranded here. We know the company will fire us, but it's better to be poor and alive. You can either refuse or let them go. So... Um, I would just let them go because we really don't need them and they're just taking up food, so let them leave. <laughs> just let them go. I, I'm not sure I'm not sure why they're not aware of the fact that the generator's done, right? Like, you know, it's it's we're good. Why is this one uh colder or something? Let's see. We can dismantle one of these guys as well. How much food are we doing right now? Let's see. Herd of deer. So we got seven days of, of herd of deer. We got lots of food, so we got food storage for a very long time. I could I could go make another like food storage place, or there's even like the upgrades to make the resource depots go longer, which is a you know not a bad one, but I don't know. I'll just make another one. We got other things to do. Let's just go with that resource depot. But yeah, the infirmaries are still going, but they have their own internal heating. So does the cookhouse, kind of. But yeah. But again, I just let people go because we're kind of at the end of this, so. They really shouldn't have left, but you know, whatever. We can start working on kilns and all that kind of fun stuff too, so. And more food rations. More, and they're, and they're punching each other in, in, the, in a time like this. Oh, we can even get an in, in, in inspection. Let's see. Overseer sacked. Sir. A worker seized an overseer who was admonishing them for smoking on the job, and they put him in a sack and carted him out of the premises with a wheelbarrow. Uh, overseers demand consequences. This is a tolerable uh, slight to our authority, sees the engineer. I can't carry out my duties, so I'm not sure of your support, sir. A good riddance, the worker shouts. We don't need you slave drivers. Let it slide, which is motivation will fall or punish the workers. I'll just let it slide. And motivation doesn't really matter anymore. We're just after 25 things. I'm just gonna not do the last research because then, yeah, we can we can see the rest of the scenario out. 
And also, there's like a really good piece of music that's supposed to play at some point. Um, I didn't even hear it the last time I did this because it was, yeah, it, I, I finished it so quickly. It was about about this time, even before this is, is when I finished it. So I tried to play it a little bit more, like I said, on the more difficult one, but yeah. I'm not going to bother with, diff with um, efficiency because it doesn't matter anymore. We're, we're in survival mode at this point. We need two heat levels. I can just do... Yeah, okay, heat levels on one. That's good. There's a couple of these that are not currently uh, in the heating zones, but that's fine. I could just move some over here, actually. That's what I might do. I actually might need some more engineers' lodgings anyways. Again, I, I actually technically really don't need them because... Like, like, like look at this. Look at that insulation. Three versus the tense two. Uh, one. Sorry, so you can technically have those outside, but I didn't really plan around that. I just didn't care. That's another reason why that's actually a really good one to get. That's why I did get that one, actually. All right, so heat is almost done. We could do one last level of heater efficiency upgrade. Who knows? May come in handy. I mean, I'm banking on 14 structural profiles right now. Last orders. Sir, with the impending interruption of navigation, this is our last window to order resources through a telegraph station. Afterwards, there won't be enough time for the shipment to come through before the uh, before the temperature drop. Place the order. You know what? I really need uh, I really need like five steam cores. You know, I'm kind of feeling that on right now. You know, you're you're doing a favor for the the next the the guy who comes over here. You know. I, I guess I could have I could have potentially gotten one more out of it too, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I've been back. I have to restart the run, guys. <laughs> all right, are we done? Yeah, we have all 25, so we can get rid of that, too. So, yeah, the game may not be entirely aware of all the coal I've, I'm storing now, but, you know, whatever. Let's, uh, let's go get some more resource uh, places. We don't need that. Let's see. Again, we're, we're just... We're, we're not going back on purpose, because... Uh, We'll, we'll see how it goes, and and the, and the music's always great, though. But I think the music is more for the beginning of this one, so... Coal, sure, and... Sure, most more food rations. But it's, it's right now playing, like, just normal music with it, so... Like I said, if the, if the, uh, the motivation drops, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't really matter. Nobody really cares. I'm gonna have to probably start dipping into kilns. Alright, so I'm going to heat the public house because the public house only is heated when it's on. The cook houses also need to get heated, but we will eventually just stop. I probably don't even need the second one there, but I'll just keep it for now. No reason not to. Telegraph uh, station IEC can no longer send help. That's It's done. Uh, profiles manufacturer, it's off. Just turn it off completely. So we don't need any of these buildings anymore. We don't even need the steel anymore at this point, so... Now, keep in mind, shipwreck's still not accessible. Can't make it there, so... That's pretty much all all there is for that. Uh, the cold is doing pretty good. How much spare housing do we have here? I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. We can't do that one. That's why I'm kind of actually hoping they're going to leave, because uh, I don't want them here anymore. Infirmary is good. Resource Depot doesn't need anybody. Steam reloading stations now need now need uh, heaters now. Now you could just do these with brazers, but you know, I don't know why bother. And yeah, the the fishing work workshop is all good too. That's it. Huh. There's there's a particular piece of music I'm expecting to play, but it just doesn't play. I I don't know. I'm I'm still waiting for it, because I I'll recognize it when I hear it. Uh, we got we got one more place with the uh, housing to go. Transfer is right. Yes, those those five steam cores will surely come in handy. I'm just doing a rather research other than that one, so. Again, I kind of stomped it, but uh, your your mileage may vary. Charcoal killing wouldn't be bad. 
Yeah, so we were not going to bother with that one. And then you can see I don't even need those those ventilation plants. They just weren't necessary, and I didn't bother with supercharging. So we'll do, we'll do, sorry, not kill him, kill him. Women and foreman first. This is it. <laughs> the last chance to get out. Shove off, we're going home. Don't push me, I'm an engineer. The last ships. As the last ships prepare to leave, a crowd of people gathers on docks, waiting uh, waiting to board and get back home. This is the last chance to convince some of them to reconsider, or make them all stay. This is also the last chance to go home before the winter sets in, if you choose to abandon the final challenge. So you're going to stop them, they will get hurt, this will go, let them go, which is 20% of everyone will leave, motivation will fall greatly, or let's just go home, the game will end. So I'll just let them go. So the generator is ready, now we wait for the until the weather Im improves uh, enough for the ships to arrive and take us home. We have to we have to hold on a few days longer. So that's it. We do not have any more docks. They are completely unfunctional. We don't have to do anything with them. So everything is completely frozen over now. The shipwreck is now accessible. So if for some reason you did not get enough uh, steel, you can get it from here instead. But important thing to note, Ah, here's the music. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't, oh yeah, yeah, this is it right here. Like, check this out. You cannot, and this is the, oh yeah, you can't, you can actually. Oh, interesting, you can. I thought you couldn't actually make a, a gathering post beside it, but you can. So if you do need it, you can have gathering posts next to these things. It's like inside. I swear you weren't allowed to do this before. And this is when the music starts to kick up a notch, which is great. This one's called The Inevitable. Actually a really fantastic one. So now that we're over here, we can actually just go and uh, we're, we're now just completely on coal. So what I'll do now is I will shuffle everyone out of... I swear it is actually bugged though, because I, I, I swear to you that this music is supposed to play when the, the ships are going in. I remember that originally. They've done some updates to this game to, to basically make it, I guess, break in some way. Old wreck. Sir, we're getting low on steel. Thankfully, we have a new source of it. One of the few advantages of the coal is since that the sea froze, it became possible to reach nearby shipwreck on foot. Foot. We can now send people to scavenge steel from it, although they will have to work in extreme conditions. So I'm correct. You weren't supposed to. You're not supposed to be able to place uh, gathering posts there, but for some reason, um, I don't know. It it just like it it. They've updated the game a couple times, and it caused some problems. I guess I don't know. It, and it like the music got delayed too. It it did actually change. It wasn't supposed to be like that. All right, we really don't need this one either. It's like we're running low on steel. We're really not though. Yeah, there's a guy that can go in there. Uh, the, even the security outposts are a bit uh, messed up right now. We have a hundred people still here. I mean, we don't need anyone in the factory introspect, but we might as well. Alright, I'll just keep playing it as it goes. So we, we already have all the brazers and everything, so it's, it's all good. <laughs> and like I said, this is what also the, the, the coal piles here, if you if you weren't quite ready for it, you could also throw up some uh, gathering posts as well. I just have way too much resources, I don't really care. We are alone. The camp wakes up in the eerie silence. The last ships are gone. We can no longer count on any outside support. No supplies, no mail, no way to evacuate in an emergency. We're on our own. Motivation will fall even more each morning. And damn, they're getting destitute now. We must hold out. Did I finish the generator upgrade? I forgot if I did. I might as well do it now. So we can go make a kill now. Did I say it right? This, are you guys happy? Are you proud of me? I said killed correctly, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Some of the events. Power hungry. Sir, the cold is upon, upon us. People are starting to get worried about food shortage. There are complaints about the overseers abusing their authority to control the food ration distribution, putting themselves ahead of everyone else. We can punish them, which motivation will fall, or they know it's best. This could tell a rise. Sure, they know it's best. We do have, we do have lots of food, though, but... Maybe not enough to last us, though, is the only thing. Might be dealing with- oh god. <laughs> Oof. That's gonna be rough. 
So we can start making kilns if we need. We need, we can start mining kilns if we need to. If we need more coal than this, we kind of don't. So, and we can even 24 hour them. That's the crazy part. Sure, why not? Let's just do that. Let's see, Jason to street. Yeah, we can do that. Why not? So we got plenty of wood as well to go with it. So we got like lots to go around. Steam. Now Jason Street, there we go. So we got some wood still. So even though the docks are not operational, the what's under the docks is. So you still have the, whatever you shipped in from before. It still exists. So you don't have to worry too much about it. You know, I could sign strike busting right now and I'll add it to my ending, which would be fantastic. So there we go. Now we get to negative 40 degrees. General upgrades finished. Sir, we finished all the upgrades. General will now protect against much more, uh, uh, protect much more people against uh, much worse cold. But this scenario doesn't end because there's obviously no ships that can get in. So we have to wait until the end of it. So, so yeah, we can do. Let's see. What else we get? Oh, kiln, kiln thermostat. Thirty-three percent more cold. That sounds good. I'm actually interested. This is a. They're actually quite cold, actually, too. There we go. Get all the, get all the coal that we need. I guess we don't really need him anymore, so I'll just disassemble that one. Crazy preacher. Sir, uh, the crowd is gathering by the generator around a tall, wry man who's shouting, uh, uh, just, just getting wildly. We built this Tower of Babel against God our Lord. Now his wrath is kindled against us, so he sent his great frost to smite us. Repent, lay down your tools and pray. Most people are just gazing, but a, f a few kneel to him. We can silence him. But you will get hurt, discontent will rise, or let him be. Motivation will fall slightly, whatever. We don't care about motivation at this point. That's what I mean, if we, if we had left, we would have missed all these awesome events, you know, to see, like, how things are basically falling apart, you know? Cold homes, sir. People are concerned about the, the low temperature in their quarters. They sensibly point out it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. They might go on strike if you don't. Eh... See, it says to heat them, but I don't think I'm going to be able to keep them heated. Sure, why not? Let's just do it. Because I could, uh, I could raise the heating level, but... They're going to get mad because, uh, look at the temperature. <laughs> I, I physically cannot do any better than that. So. Might, we might go make another, uh... I mean, you know, you know what the solution is? Is to make them all into engineers. So they'll, they'll live in... Actually, that's a good question. Will they live in engineers' lodges? If I keep making them? I'm actually curious. I mean, I could keep making them into engineers, which would be funny, but... Kiln bellows. But, I mean, who's going to work on the, the kilns then? That's the thing. We need to keep some of the, the, the lower class. I'm interested to know if they will work at... They'll, they'll live in lodges, though. No, they will not. Interesting. They will not live in the lodges. That's just for engineers. Okay. Well, we learned something new today. This song is pretty sick, though. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Do we have more... Uh, oh, yeah, of course we have more... Uh, we have more infirmaries. You know, it really does beg the question, though, of, like, when you got... When you got to, uh... When you got to... a oh, generator site like New London, why wasn't there a bunch of tents and churches and... Infrastructure there for you? They just, they, they took it all with them. I mean, I, I mean, the, honestly, the, probably the lore one is... Uh, uh, this is the one of the last ones that was made, right? Uh, don't need any more heat. Alright, let's go hop into, I guess, uh, I don't know, medical stuff. This was not so bad. Uh, apparently it's complaining about housing. Oh right, 10 is not enough for uh, for that, I just remembered. Well, I have to go give them whatever they need because uh, they're certainly going to die if I don't if I don't give them the housing. It's like cold now. Not even a question anymore. So the insulation is enough on these buildings, too. Uh, I guess we might as well just keep upgrading them. There we go. Look at that. Some more get into some new buildings. I guess I don't really need this anymore. 
alone in this world. Aren't we all? Alright. I guess I don't have much else to do with these. Actually, I'm, I'm building more infirmaries anyways. Here we go. See, the, the five came in handy. Now, the idea would be, like, you'd be dismantling uh, steam steam reloading stations. I'm just, I'm just not. <laughs> I'm not bothering with it. All right, I guess we're all good now. I'm not going to bother doing any more research. Problem is broken. See what I mean? Got colder. Strike risk rises. Oh, no. And imagine them break, uh, striking at a time like this when you're just in the final stages of that generator. But they're they're as hot as, uh, they're as hot as they're gonna go. So, all right, dangerous. One of our people became gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening. People have to work in such cold. Who was working in the cold? Uh, I guess it's the steam reloading stations are uh, bad now. Oh yeah, the heater doesn't. Well, actually no, the heater does do stuff. They just. Oh right, they have. Um... Why did he go to work then? Or is it the security outpost? Oh, it's the security outpost. That's what it was. There you go. We can start dismantling some of the stuff now. We don't need any more steel either. Hey, do we want to bank some more steel? Come on, let's go bank some more steel. Cold homes. Well, I can't address this. What could I possibly do? Workplace will rise at all places. Discontent will rise. They're not too much of a fan of that. And they're st they're still having knuckle bats. They're pissed about the cold. And they're just going to be uh, they're going to be fighting each other forever. Oh man, we have a lot of uh, sick people now. <laughs> Let's just get more, uh, like, places for this. I'm ready for it. I think we're gonna get to the point where everyone's sick, but that's fine. Well. Alright, here we go. We got- this is too cold to function, that's fine, we will just turn it off. It, well, actually, no, we can't just turn it off, can we? No, we, we actually literally, uh, yeah, there's no cookhouse insulation, so we can't deal with that. It's actually really cool. Like, look at this stuff. It's really neat. But yeah, you were not you were never supposed to be able to build gathering posts. It's just it's just a bug that happened with this version of the game. They did some, Oh no, never mind. Gathering posts. Wait, hold up. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to do this. I'm not supposed to be able to do that. I maybe it wouldn't even do it, but who knows. Cuz I always remember that being a thing that you weren't allowed to do it. But maybe you always were, who knows? I don't even know. Oh, there's a tent here that should not be having any inhabitants. I just love that the, the soundtrack is just called The Inevitable, because it's we're already like in a, in a full, like negative 60 degrees. And we don't even like, we're not even using this lovely generator that we built. <laughs> The heart of our future city. We can't turn on yet, but we might be able to raise the number of people that that are saved. Alright. Well, he's done. <laughs> Come on back, my friend. Oh, wait. Freezing. Who's freezing? I think it's these places. Yeah, it's these places. Yeah, we don't, we don't need them anymore, so... We're good. We have, we have kilns. What else could we possibly need other than kilns? I should be able to make two. Yeah. So this, these are now, by the way, uh, cold now. That's that's the highest you could possibly raise them to. Of course, the engineers are all toasty warm. So as it, as as it should be, all things are right in the universe. I just realized also the the uh, these tents are also not that good either. I mean, does it really matter? Probably not. <laughs> We're doing it anyways. I guess I could get the... I guess I could get it to work if I, uh... What's it called? If I used a brazier on it. I probably should do that. It does occur to me that that could easily bring it up to the amount that it needs to be. 
I'm wondering if I just screwed myself, because, uh, one second, let's see. 24 hours. Yeah, okay, good, they can do, they can do the work, okay. I'm actually not gonna bring this guy in, because, uh, he's just gonna eat food. Because we have to wait for another day here, so. Hey, this was actually barely enough food, because the, unfortunately, the fishery was not working either, so, you know. The amount of food I had was just barely enough. It's okay, the, the hungry will eat and then we'll be okay. It's, kind of, it's just kind of fun how destitute this really does get, though. Well, that was pretty much it for the events. But this is like the ideal scenario to just go and like speed run. It's really fun to just watch people go, kind of go through this thing. Missing lookout. Sir, if everything goes according to plan, an icebreaker will be here tomorrow. Not a moment too soon, as everyone is desperate to leave this place. One of our people went out on the ice to go look for a sh the ship, but it's been some time and he hasn't looked returned. His friends are worried about something that happened to him. We can go, go look for him or let's not risk any more lives. So let's go look for him. Let's go see where he's at. Ah, oh, we can definitely use some more engineers. I mean, like, it, they get the better housing. Why not? Pay to look at. Sir, the search party uh, returned to the dead of night, empty-handed and unnerved. They found shreds of the man's backpack and clothes in a circle... Uh, in a circle of trampled, bloody snow, and traces of, of dragging across a uh, large set of paw prints. These are polar bear tracks, says an experienced explorer. These beasts are normally kept far to the north and uh, of here until winter. We must get out of here. The weather is getting really crazy, I see. So I guess that is a reference to New London. I think there was the, the polar bear uh, scenario or something. I think that's what they have in there. And I have like 80 people sick. Don't worry, all our infrastructure is replaced with this stuff now. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Dude, why is this... Why are people getting like... Desperately starving. Come on. I mean, it's this is the last day, anyways. Stop being hungry. Well, oh, frostbite. Someone became ill. All right, there we go. That's it. Apparently, I got some kind of achievement. I don't even know what it is. Our toil is over. Finally, I can't believe it. I waited so long for this day. It is completed, truly a marvel. And that's it. Spark of hope. The huge generator disappears from view, dwarfed by the mountains towering over it, which soon too will sink beyond the horizon. You have won against all odds, yet the future is dim. The empire is in chaos. People fight over work, food, and heat. Company officer who welcomed you aboard says, uh, this says there will be a raffle for the crew to win a place at the generator, should the worst happen. A raffle. You look at the tired and proud face of your people. As, as for uh, the seas, Swell and cold wind. You wonder if this effort was all for someone else's benefit entirely. We did it. So the interesting, and this is the part I like about it. They're leaving the generator site. They will likely be back. <laughs> or they'll wish they, they never left, you know, at some point. But that's it. So let's see the ending scenario. And there you have it. That's the end of uh, Last Autumn for you. I had a couple of problems recording the ending of this. I think my uh, Proton is uh, uh, falling apart with this one. Uh, I don't even have a Windows installation anymore, so. So I shouldn't have crossed the line and the achievement I got, by the way, I already checked, that would be uh, everyone survived, which apparently I've never done before, so. Censorship, double shifts. <laughs> no, not double shifts. Can one life be more important than another? So it's trying to guilt you into uh, workers for versus engineers. Good old Liverpool needed a chance. There you go. Everyone came home. Everyone lived happy, happily ever after.
Not sure why it says we'll have to do, but yeah, this is the best generator you could possibly get. <laughs> Chance of survival, acceptable. The best generator you could possibly give. Um, and I consider it to, like, you could all, you could do, like, less laws than that if you really want to, but... Yeah, it's, I, I like I like the engineer path. Uh, so before we finish up, actually, I want to load up uh, another save here. I did crank the graphics really down. This is the only way I could record the ending because there is some kind of memory leak or something going on with it. So this would be uh, my run I was doing before with uh, penal colonies. I just wanted to show this off. So this is what a penal colony looks like. So you have rationalized healthcare. I'll show you what that does in a bit. So that's uh, 25 convicts per thing and you have like these little towers here. So once again, I kind of made it really, like really quite easily with regards to the ending for this. So. Uh, we, we, we're on like day 36 right now and we're finishing it just before 37. This is like one of my first attempts at it, like recently. Um, but I want to show you this, uh, primarily from the perspective of, check out this. Look how, look how absolutely fucking dismal this gets. So the, in this run, I, I want to actually show off all the stuff that, uh, cause I thought it was actually interesting to go up uh, to the penal colony tree. I figure I should show, I, I can show it to you after the fact, because uh, obviously you can see it. So we, we did start strike busting as a meme. Uh, you got security outposts as well and, and class segregation. This is about where we left off, right? So here's the other ones you get. So you get the penal colony. So comics provide cheap labor. They only work when supervised by company guard. You have to build a penal colony. All that kind of stuff. So this other miserable stuff you get is this one's great. So rationalized healthcare. In order to meet the medical needs of employees, comics can be kept out of health facilities. So that's an option you have. You can say that they're not allowed to go and get healthcare anymore. Uh, Sin comics may die if rationalized healthcare is in effect. The bodies of convicts will be disposed of in the foundations of the generator. So you don't ship them home. You literally uh, put them in the foundations of the generator. Uh, pretty freaking brutal. Uh, yeah, you get roundups uh, as well, so known troublemakers and, and malcontents can be convicted without trial. This should fill up the involuntary work workforce pool nicely. So you get ability roundup. Each use will turn 15 workers into convicts. Each uh, use significantly raises discontent, obviously. Because you're just, you're making them all, there's actually an achievement where you just have uh, just engineers and just convicts working in a, um, in your, in your generator colony place. Because you can, you can actually just, because remember, you can keep converting people over with uh, with the engineer uh, promotions. So you can get it to the point where you just have just engineers and convicts, which is which is fabulous. Uh, well, and then you could also do roundups, which is to move them over to the workers to convicts. And the last one is really dark. It's like uh, servitude. Everyone is suspect. Everyone is watched. Everyone will serve. Uh, new building, Panopticon. Uh, Panopticon, if you don't know, it's uh, it's a concept even used in prisons today. It's the idea that um, prisoners could be being wa watched at any time. So um, in the case of the old, like the olden one, it was like uh, a lot of slots in in the side of a building where like a few guards could watch a lot of um, or uh, a lot of convicts essentially. And so the idea, the the theory behind it, and it actually is a is a working theory, is that um, people behave and work really hard when they think they're being, uh, when they think they could be being watched. If they don't know when they're being watched, then they behave themselves all the time. And it actually is a true thing. It's it's a real thing. You can look up some stuff on YouTube about it. It's, it's pretty interesting and pretty, pretty freaking dismal. Cause like I said, it's a modern thing that people use all the time right now. Uh, but you also get new ability, forced labor, panopticon. Forced labor will multiply the, uh, by two the efficiency of workplaces employing only convicts. Uh, you will have to build a panopticon, and using forced labor work, uh, lowers workplace safety by three. So you can start, like, throwing people into the foundations of the gender as you're working on it, kind of thing, which is really funny. And I actually did build it in this one. I didn't use it, because I, I don't need I didn't need it, but you get it right here. Forced labor is on or off. So you get you get, you get get it here. So construction site efficiency goes 179 versus the 94. So. Oh, uh, I think I had some uprisings. <laughs> There's a lot of dead people here. Damn. Yeah. That wasn't the reason, though, that, uh, the re it was actually just way too easy, and I was like, oh, uh, oh yeah, the dead was the uprising, because I, f I found out that you have to have one per, one outpost per, uh, penal colony, that was the ratio you're supposed to go towards. But that's, that's kind of the scenario, as, as you kind of put it, and so you can, like, remove houses. I did have, like, a mix of workers and convicts, and, and that was pretty much what I did for that, so. Pretty much the same layout and everything like that, so. But that was it. 
that's what all I want to show off. I, I didn't show off any of like the, the really high up faith or order or not even the worker stuff because I don't feel they're quite as interesting as the, the convict path is. That, that one that I feel is like the most interesting one. And also probably the closest to, uh, I guess, canon-ish. So anyways, um, after this, we only have one uh, one left. So that's on the edge and then we're done. In case you're wondering, there is actually like a variation of the last autumn scenario where you can build you can build the generator when the winter is already in full swing. They actually have that as a capability. And they even have things where like you rush it out to give the generator defects, but get it to the next stage kind of thing. We won't be doing that. It's it's like an endless mode. It's um, it's uh, builders at this one. Yeah, no heating, no support, whatever. It's not as interesting as you think. Uh, a lot of the greatness of, I think, Frostpunk is these scripted story elements that kind of go in. Builders doesn't have any of that. So nothing really happens that you have to make decisions about. There's no moral choices, really. So it's like a tamer version of the main game, but it just never ends kind of thing is, I guess, the idea, so. Like I said, I, I won't touch upon that. I just go to the last scenario and, and and be done with it. So, it's like I said, fabulous game. So I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.